What's going on, everybody? And welcome to the Wingnut Roundup. We're not going to listen to that again. No. Thank you very much. <laughs> welcome, everybody, to the Wingnut Roundup for September 2020. Now, I feel, for the first time, very, very strange doing this roundup. There's a strange bug going on with my connection. I don't know what exactly it is. But I have uh, the chat open here. I have the chat open there. I have a chat actually open on the second screen in a private window on a different browser. I can't see the chat. It's not moving. I can't, I can't even tell if anybody's out there. Are you guys out there? I, I can't know. I was trying to like, hey, where's everybody watching from today? Because that's like one of my favorite things in the world to find out that people are watching from all over the place. Uh, and no, nothing. <laughs> I think I devised a way around it, uh, which I'm going to try and get to in a minute, but oof, oof, it's rough. Also, I'm going to have to figure out, oh man, I'm going to have to figure out all this stuff. It's one of those things that like, it absolutely positively should be working just fine. There shouldn't be any problems whatsoever, but like, it's also not something that you can test for, or at least I thought. It didn't start happening until like literally before we started going live, but whatever. <laughs> That's so frustrating. Let's have a let's have a sip of our our totally manly uh, white claw here. Ah. So I figured for the last roundup, 
for the last warm month of this crazy, crazy, hectic roller coaster of a year. We go a little warm weather themed, you know, a little, little, little like Hawaiian shirt, and we got, you know, some some pretty rockin', uh, rockin' shorts here, and uh, we're gonna have ourselves a, a nice one last uh, one last blowout before we have to start bundling up for the colder weather. At least here in uh, the northern hemisphere, all of you uh, people down under, uh, you get to look forward to summer coming very very soon. I don't know if I'm jealous. After the hellhole that was the smoke. <laughs> I know you've had a bunch of fun in your state lately, so the wife and I are really hoping our package made it to you. It did. It totally did. It totally did. <laughs> also, my notification sound is uh, Jeff Goldblum laughing from Jurassic Park, uh, but it's going to get really annoying, so I'm just going to go ahead and mute that. Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But yes, it did show up, and we're actually about to, to open that and go through it here in just a second. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so just for anybody who, who wasn't caught up on it, uh, I'm, I don't know why you wouldn't. Uh, my Half my state was on fire. Everything was, like, covered in choking smoke. Uh, couldn't breathe. It was god-awful. But, you know, it's over now. So that's all that matters. Back to work. So. <clears throat> Funny you should mention that, that Omega guy. We got a, uh, a letter here in a package. Uh, from Cheyenne, my husband, that Omega guy, and I watch you all the time. I love watching the Roundup, and it makes me feel better about myself, but also worried for humanity. I was recently diagnosed with a bunch of mental health issues, and what I've learned from your work has helped me to stay grounded and focus on getting the right kind of help. That is fucking awesome. And that is, that is a wonderful and very kind message. We've gotten some merch from you and some other creators, and knowing you also enjoy the work of Sir Sick, got you a relevant item. I love this. This is so cool. Okay, if you guys don't actually know uh, the YouTuber Sir Sick, S I R S I C, they got me a T-shirt for Sir Sick. It's awesome. I wear a medium though, even though I'm kind of like I got the dad bod thing going on a little bit. Still mostly fit a medium, so Sir Sick is what I'm gonna wear when I just want to be comfy, super super comf. But yeah, this is a dope shirt. Sir Had Sick a is a dope YouTuber. At work, and I can see the smokes of wildfires slowly rising up over. The horizon in our Pacific Northwestern corner of the world. Oh, yeah. So I'm ecstatic that I caught the stream at the start. Yeah. Time yeah. to blow off steam with some serious wing nuts. <laughs> I hear you, buddy. Yeah, no, we, uh, the, there's, uh, the wildfires are starting to, like, get uh, crazy again. It's not going to last too terribly long. Uh, this is the second letter. Uh, and then I just have a couple acknowledgments and we'll get going. Uh, dear Jeff and Ian. Thank you for having Passion Stream during this pandemic. For those of you who don't know, every Saturday uh, at 12.30, uh, noon 30 Pacific Standard Time, me and my buddy Ian on my Twitch channel watch five episodes of the craziest soap opera ever made in the United States. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. We get totally drunk and watch this bizarre, bizarre soap opera. It's, it's fun. It is a highlight of my week. Inside this package, you will find a USSR Army badge. Oh, <laughs> and a set of handmade by me horns that I thought may be a fun prop. Please enjoy. Okay, sweet. Thank you very much, Evil Cattle and Tentacles Evils. And these are really cool. I had a friend a long time ago that made these types of uh, little demon horns. I'll put these on in a minute. Um, and then, where'd it go? There it is. Oh, damn. That is some straight-up Red Army stuff. <laughs> cool. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's wild. All right. Sweet. So, I hate to say it. I still I can't I still can't see you guys' chat, and it's it's killing me. It's absolutely killing me. Wingnut plus Roundup equals Monshano confirmed. Shivabu makes a terrible pesticide. <laughs> But a wonderful herbicide. Love you, Jeff. Love Mems, and love everything you do. Aww. Stay insane. Love Gibbs. Aww. I love you, Gibbu. You're you're wonderful. Um, so let's see if I can try one more thing that I wanted to, to attempt. I'm not connected to my home Wi-Fi. I'm gonna open an incognito tab, and I'm gonna open the stream. Let's see. Where's the chat? Where's the damn chat? Do I not get the chat if I'm incognito? Are you serious? 
That would be so dumb. You have got to be kidding me. Where's the chat? Oh my god. Why can't I see you guys? No, see? Dude, this is so crazy. This is crazy. Okay, look. Alright. Check this out. It has been stuck at the chat from 3.44 p.m. I don't know if you guys can actually see that or not. 3.44 p.m. Still the same goddamn chat. It's frozen. I don't get to I don't get to know any chat. This is driving me crazy. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Jurassic Times call for Jurassic. I don't have no idea why that would be doing that. That is the most bizarre thing in the world. I'm just going to have to like assume uh that nobody's chatting and uh nobody's watching and <laughs> Oh, Neil Gibbs's chat is now bored for me too for some reason. It was working. Hmm. And all of a sudden, boom, just like that, it started working again. Holy crap. There we go. There we go. Hey, we're back in business, guys. Awesome. Okay. All right. Good. I'm really happy about that. Um, <clears throat> all right. In that case... That's actually really, that's super cool. That's super, super cool. So what we're going to do real quick, just to make sure we, like, get everything caught up. Uh, let me just read through the Streamlabs super fast, and then we're going to get going. I'm sorry that that was such a weird, weird glitch. I blame YouTube, because I don't want to be at fault. <laughs> uh, Ivy Kush, thank you very much. Macy Caudill, Father Dr. Holiday, please bless me with the soothing sound of your voice so I can make it through the rest of my shift without wanting to dunk my head in the fryer. Also... This is much better. Um, I hope don't dunk your head in the fryer. No, Dawn Commander sixty nine, awesome name by the way. Uh, Ahoy, Daddy Jeff. It's been a while since I've been able to catch this live, and I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great, and I'm happy to be here with you guys. Um, Becky Hill, yo yo yo. It's that time again. The drunken highlight of my month. Naturally, I'm chucking you a fiver from across the pond. Much love for all you do. Thank you so much. And I hope things are going well over there on that side of the world. Digital Demon Davros, Demonic Davros. 30 degrees uh, Celsius tomorrow in South Australia. That's hot, right? I feel like that's hot. I feel like that's really hot. I think that's hot. Uh, Wixburn, it's been a while because of work and school. Can't wait for the roundup, especially after the antics. My local crazy religious man and his bold claims of the pandemic. Oh, boy. Uh, if it's uh, noteworthy, maybe you should... Uh Maybe you should toss me some links. Uh, Sea Cadet, thank you again. That Omega guy, thank you again. Richard, good morning from Germany. Had a great day playing as my Necromancer in D&D. &D. Man, I miss D&D, &D, guys. Holy crap. Poking people with my zombie army. I'm going to use a roundup to wind down and make sure I have the sweetest dreams. Oh, boy. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, let's do two more, and we're going to get going. Savvy D, watching here in Atlanta with vodka in hand. First time catching a live roundup. Love your videos and love forward to, look forward to them every time I see them in my notifications. Uh, Lord Perrin, Golden Eyes, Hi Dad, ready to see some wing, see some wing nuttery, and I'll get to the rest of them here in just a little bit. Uh, that's an outfit. You like this outfit, Shannon Q? Also, by the way, check out Shannon Q on uh, on YouTube. She's amazing too. She's incredible. She does good, good videos. All right, <clears throat> let's do this. Oh yeah, let's do this. I'm super into it. I'm super into it. I like. I try. I really do try to convey how how much the roundup means to me, but like I, I fail every single time. Even when I'm like super just gushing on you guys. It doesn't even come close. It's such a great feeling. All right. Uh as as is tradition, as is written, uh accordance to the prophecy. <laughs> we have one thing we gotta do before we watch a video. Shabam boo. Uh and that is I gotta I gotta I gotta attempt to be a real YouTuber and chill. Um, <clears throat> we have t-shirt designs, the official Wingnut Roundup t-shirt. Uh, she is stored in the balls. And then this incredible design for Wingnut Jesus that, uh, that that dude did for me. It's incredible. And there's all sorts of other shit and links and stuff. And like, I can't push it because I. it's just, <clears throat> it's not me. All right. Now that the chat is working, this is so important. Okay. Look. <clears throat> I have this idea. 
I had this idea. We've done this before with other videos before in the past. I really wanted to do it with this right at the beginning because if I feel like a video is just kind of like, meh, we can always go back to this one and we can uh, just get kind of like a recharge. You know what I mean? Like, because this is, this is some top shelf stuff. I already tested this out once. All right. <clears throat> David Wilcock, uh, <laughs> famous for being barely coherent and for some reason being on TV a lot. Uh, he just came out with a stream uh, that he did about two weeks ago called Time Travel Secrets Revealed and Why It Matters Today. It's four hours and 22 minutes long. So that means there are six digits in a time code. And I want you to just write one out sometime in, in the middle of it, in the chat. Just write out a time code. Just one random, random right now. And I'll randomly pick one, and we're going to go, and we're going to see what we find. It's like a treasure hunt. We don't know what we're going to find, but uh, I have a feeling it's always going to get us some gold. So, by all means, please hit me up in the chat. Let's do this. Mm. Also, does anybody know, does anybody know how uh, to get a White Claw sponsorship? Because, man, these things have, like, I haven't had a hangover almost all summer because all i've been drinking mostly is white claws and like it's mostly water so it's no hangovers it's awesome oh my god <clears throat> we're getting a secret message from the earth mother hey jeff hey first live roundup so stoked got a gift plus letter for you in the mail nice if you want a sneak peek check out your ig Check out my Instagram. I don't do Twitch, so I wasn't sure how else to share. So I hope that's okay. Aww. Skull. That is so very sweet of you and very, very generous. That's 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 wild. Thank you so much, uh, Glass Galahad. And uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. I'll check out my IG here in just a little bit. Uh, the Earth Mother has decided to contact us. Bless us with a uh, a blessing here. We've got a uh, picture of Stormtrooper and it says, "We missed you." Oh no. Now the chat's not working again? Seems to be updating every five minutes. <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna pick a random spot in this video. I'm just gonna pick a random, random spot. One hour, 18 minutes, and 16 seconds. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Maybe it'll be nothing. And they, uh, they also are, again, deradiating radioactive material when you pass it through the material. So the, the, uh, as I've talked about in other videos, I'm not going to run through all of it again. Um, there have been these declassified patents filed by a man apparently named Salvatore Pius. And they are for a device called the Hawk, H-A-U-C, Hybrid Air Underwater Craft. And it's basically a flying black triangle and the patent describes exactly <laughs> how to build it and says that it is anti-gravitic. Okay. And in the other videos I've done, we, we have compelling evidence that they, they've already built these. They know how they work. Uh -huh. And Salvatore Pius also patented a compact fusion reactor that's all these little needles that whirl around, which is how you make charge clusters, okay? <laughs> and, and that I have no is, idea what the, he's that is about. a power system you could drop in the thing. The other thing I talked about before is that the Hawkcraft is like a peanut. So there's a nut inside and then a shell on the outside and that hollow area between the interior hull and the exterior hull, there's all these little needles where they can generate the charge clusters. So you generate them and then you steer them. And by first generating them, you then point them where you want to go and that's how you get anti-gravity. So because <laughs> I am working on hover car technology right cool. now, I'm not joking. I'm not going to talk about it until we've got something for you, but we're getting pretty close. Um, once we get to that point, I can talk a lot more, but, uh, several of Pete Peterson's former associates I'm working with on this, and it's very, very real. Uh, we expect that once we get financed, hopefully that we'll have an operational working prototype within one year and that we could go into mass production within four years where you will have a hover car in your garage at an affordable price. Um, one of the designs that we have, I've... I, you heard it here first, if, like, look, well, actually you didn't hear it. If you watched his live stream, you heard it there first, but you heard it here second, folks. We're going to have hover cars. It's going to be four years away. They're going to Vogue somehow. I don't know why. I don't, I, I don't know. The chat's working again. 
and I can't wait, and then it's not going to work again. What is wrong with YouTube? You know what's really funny? What's super funny about this, too, was I almost decided to try restreaming across, like, YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook at the same time today just to see what it would be like. Uh, but I was like, no, you know, I'm, I'd rather just have the chat all in one place. Well, that chat doesn't even goddamn work. <laughs> so what are you going to do? Man. Uh, yeah, so like I said, let's, let's try one more spot, one more quick spot. I, I just want to prove the point. Hi, what's up, babe? Yeah. Think it's you. I think it's a bug. Yeah, I think it's a YouTube bug too. I don't think it's I don't think it's me. Now that uh now that I'm I'm like it's starting and it's stopping, I'm one hundred percent certain that it's a YouTube bug. Time started and stopped and it's now been frozen. Yeah. Like Guys we're just we're gonna you know what, we're just gonna make it through one way or the other. We'll do it together, you know? It'll it'll be weird. <laughs> it'll be a little strange. Hopefully the uh, the Earth Mother will give us guidance throughout the day as need be. <laughs> we'll see. Um, let's just to prove the point. Let's try one more. Two minutes or two hours, thirty five seconds or two hours thirty five minutes. But at a P ten, if you're a telepath, a telekinetic, you can move large objects. Uh, oh. So it's pretty pretty fascinating stuff. The other show that we watched uh, was Stargate SG one. And according to Bruce, Stargate SG-1 is true. That they were, it, it, it was sort of a con combination of stuff that he was doing with the time travel stuff with Montauk and stuff that they were doing through what they called the Ancient Stargate Network. Okay. Now, what is the Ancient Stargate Network? And I'm looking at the clock. It's 8 o'clock, so it's 10 o'clock on the East Coast, so we're still pretty good here. Okay. All right, so... Um, what is the ancient Stargate network? The ancient Stargate network, so he claimed that there's a, a global grid of energy vortexes on Earth. You've seen me talk about this before. I talked oh, about yeah, it yeah, in Great yeah. Awakening. I knew about it for like and way before you did. And in these certain particular areas of the Earth, if you're there at the right time on the right day uh, with the right alignments, uh, which has to do with the positions of the, of the planets in the solar system, uh -huh. especially if there's a solar flare happening. Sure. And the solar flare is aimed at the Earth while you're in the right alignment. Yeah, I saw the and show, there's dude. also these grids that we don't know about that can be tracked and they move slowly across the surface of the Earth. Everything has to line up. The other big piece is an ancient megalithic stone monument. A stargate? Is it remember like a I was ring? talking about charge clusters before. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Point proven, I think. I think we, I think we got it. I think we got it. <laughs> Shababu! Oh, yeah. I gotta get better about doing this, too, because, like, some of the live stuff that I'll be doing here soon in the future, uh, I'm gonna have to, like, be grabbing the microphone and moving around a lot, too. So, this is good practice. You're helping me practice right now, and you're doing a great job. You're doing an awesome job. Uh, especially in the face of uh, the adversity of this goddamn chat bug. Um, <laughs> Swirly Swirl, I'm feeling that outfit today. Please make my day after last night's debate. Love you, Jeff. Ooh. You know what? We're just... I think we all collectively, no matter where we're, where we're at, we, we all are pretty exhausted if we watch that. So let's just have some fun. Um... Kat LeBerg Art, sup Jeff, love ya dingus, love you ya dingus, Ashton Zabrowski, ya hunk, ya hunk, just typical hunk behavior, Ashton Zabrowski, thank you very much, Magma, fifth roundup I've caught in a row, is always my favorite part of the month, mine too, anyway, the chat is messed up for everyone I think, or at least that's the theory over here on Discord, Aspen, hey Jeff, can I get a shout out for my sister Hannah, hello Hannah, uh, she got the job she's going for and I'm mega proud of her for kicking ass, and you are a badass Hannah, congratulations, that's cool as fuck. Uh, why am I sticky? I don't know. Says, chat is still frozen for me, and after a few of other people I asked in Discord, don't worry, we're watching. Okay, I'm not alone. Take my hand. <clears throat> Glass Galahad again, thank you very much for that. It was very, very sweet. Uh, Jennifer Bow can't watch tonight late here in Ireland. I have work early in the morning. Here's a few shekels to make up for it. Love you, Dad. Uh, love to Mems. Thank you. Fiber Zombie, I've arrived. Time to start the party. Two more. Little Glassville. Oh my god, I've not gotten to see the Roundup live in so long. I love what you do. I have scared my spouses with the Wing Notary You Show. Uh, and Savannah Tick says, grew up in a big Catholic home that led me to almost dying during rebirth therapy at nine. Wait, 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 wait. 
Grew up in a big Catholic home that led to me almost dying during rebirth therapy at nine because in get, they couldn't get me an exorcism for possession. They didn't believe in Tourette's and autism, so I greatly appreciate everything you do against pseudoscience. I, man. <laughs> yeah, I look. That's that's wild. I have have any of you guys ever seen videos of of rebirthing ceremonies? Like I should I should put some of those into the roundup sometime. That would be crazy. Maybe we'll do that for next month, because next month is the Halloween wing nut roundup, wing nut roundup, which I think we'll probably do like the day before Halloween, and we'll do like you know what we did last year with costumes and everything. Maybe we'll maybe we'll watch some spooky rebirthing. Uh, Earth Mother says, no oo wooing. Uh, fine, fifteen hundred dollars. Apparently, this is an oo woo free stream. I mean, I didn't, I didn't make that decision. Uh, it's the eldritch horror that lives inside the earth, so take it up with her. Sorry. <clears throat> Wasn't my idea, guys. So, we'll, if we need to, if we need to, like, freshen our palate, we'll go back to David Wilcox just for fun. But uh, here's the thing. <laughs> Whip. Oh, boy. Whilst the world is experiencing a stockpiling frenzy of toilet tissue, cleaning products and hand sanitizers with supermarkets and stores selling out and online retailers stocking products for as much as £500 for extortionate prices, knowing yeah. that people are so desperate to get their hands on them, I have found a free and alternative method. That is to stockpile semen. We're just jumping right like in today. every piece of fresh produce, the sooner you consume it, the better the nutritional and health benefits will be. <laughs> Consuming semen as close to production as possible is when you are going to get the most benefits from it. I love, I love, uh, man, you know, so I, I've known about Tracy Kiss for a while, but I, I didn't put her in the in the roundup for, for a few reasons. Um, but like... <laughs> Her her equating semen uh, to produce is just quite possibly my favorite thing in the world. I I love it. I love it. And her stockpiling spoojum, man, oof. However, if you are looking to have this at a later time, you can store it in the fridge for 24 hours. For long-term suitable storage, I would recommend freezing semen in ice cube trays. The average quantity of semen produced is around a teaspoon at a time, so it fits perfectly into an ice cube portion. <laughs> this can be added to cold drinks, smoothies if you wish to disguise the taste, or even consumed as an ice cube, much like you would an ice lolly. Isn't, isn't that just such a wonderful, wonderful mental image? I mean, look. I'd listen. <laughs> Okay, like I I know for a fact there are quite a few people out there that watch uh the roundup with their grandma. Uh there are more than one. There there's actually quite a number. Hi grandma, uh all of you grandmas and I love you. Um I hope I am not making you blush too much. I apologize if I am. Um but this this had to just go right in the front. I we, we just need to get it out of the way, you know? When frozen, semen loses its viscosity and texture. It's no longer white and thick, but becomes watery and clear. As long as you have stored it safely, either in the fridge for 24 hours or the freezer thereafter, it is safe for consumption. Seeing as there is no dairy or animal produce in this, this is suitable for vegans. Each portion of semen, a teaspoon at a time, contains over 200 vitamins and minerals, which help to boost the body's natural immune system. It is nature's very own multivitamin for free. It's also a natural antidepressant, helps to relax you and helps you to sleep better at night. Studies in the Netherlands have also found that mothers who consume semen whilst pregnant have a higher immune system and their babies are healthier. I, they scored high on the immune system test. Uh, look, okay. Uh, I, <laughs> I can't even necessarily say uh that she's right or she's wrong i don't know i don't know um i will say uh that there there's two very distinct things that are important to say about tracy kiss and her 
uh, fixation on uh, semen. <clears throat> Number one is uh, she she has this tendency to kind of indicate that semen is responsible for her looking so good. But if you go to her channel and you look, uh, there is video after video after video of the extreme lengths that she goes to, to to make herself look the way that she looks, which is fine. That's her choice. You know, whatever. Like, you go on with your bad self. You uh, try and make yourself look however you want to. I'm pro-body modification no matter how that how that takes form. Um, but also... Uh, <laughs> so, obviously, it's not... I, we can't be like, well, the semen is why you look like how you look. Um, but... Uh, the other thing that I would say is that I, I don't think anybody's really convinced that this isn't anything more than an overwhelming fetish for her. Uh, I really don't think so. I'm sorry. I'm sure. I'm sure it's chock full of, of, of great stuff that's uh, that's good for you uh, health wise. Sure. Um, but uh, this is this is this is a little this is a little weird. I, you know what? If you like this kind of thing, you do you. You have fun. All right. But yeah, that's Tracy Kiss. I promised a very good friend of mine that I would uh, I'd play some Tracy Kiss. <laughs> ah, shit. Ah, oh, it's too good. Okay. Sperm cubes. Yeah. Chat appears fixed, and then it froze again. What kind of texture does jizz have when frozen? I would say uh, cold and hard. I don't know. Um, I, I haven't really experimented a whole lot with trying to freeze my semen. Um, just saying. Do, 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 do. Where are we at? Hmm. Okay. Kale Montelios. Hey, Jeff. Maybe three hours, 34, 30, three hours, 43 minutes. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to save that in a little text message. Because uh, you asked. When we go back to our guy... David Wilcox, we'll go to that one. Um, I have started going back to school. It feels weird, man, but it's fun web design and stuff. You were part of the motivation to do it. Good. I, whoa, I will encourage everybody I possibly can. Uh, if you have an interest in going back to school and you have the financial means, because it's tough, especially if you're in the United States, um, you should. Education is amazing. Amazing. I wish I could just go to school just for fun, just to learn shit. Um, Anna Jennifer, what's your P.O. Box? Have finally finished a project for you, and I'm ready to send it out. You can always find my P.O. Box uh, in the description of every regular video that I put out on my YouTube channel. Every single one. Uh, I thought I put it in the description of this one, but I might be dumb. I never never underestimate my ability to be incredibly dumb. Uh, the pack, and thank you. The pack had, hey Jeff, thanks for helping me get through the world burning down. Side note, have you heard of a YouTube channel called Spirit Science? We have a spirit science video today to watch. Um, <laughs> George Noguera, Noguera, Dr. Daddy, I bought two liters of tequila for this roundup. Bring the pain. I've got pain for you. Uh, Liam Wheeler, God bless you, sexy man. Oh, jeez. Hey. Woolier Blueberry, hey, yo, Daddy Jeff, watching you from Italy on a very late night. Haven't been able to make a donation before, but I'm very glad to do so now. Also, where do I send art, digital, or traditional? Traditionally, you can always send it to my P.O. Box. Art, you can always send it to jeff at jeffholiday.com. Uh, that was broken for a while, but I have spent far too much money to actually make sure it will work no matter what. Uh, Enchanted Wolf, two more. Enchanted Wolf, thanks for the roundup. Have deposition tomorrow in medical malpractice lawsuit. Needed this. Keep doing what you do. Daddy Jeff, I will. Daft feel. You can't tell me what to do, Earth Mother. Ooh, woo. Jokes aside, stockpile coom. What? Are we 100% Tracy Kiss isn't a troll? I don't think so. I don't think so. Earth Mother <clears throat> says, While the tube of use is not working to allow you to commune with the Earth Mother, I must inform you that I still hear your prayers. And you, yes, you in the beanbag staring at the phone while your cat purrs at your head. You, that, that one right there. Uh, the answer is yes, you totally should learn that kickflip. I agree. Kickflips are sweet, Watching dude. from Lake Stevens Walk. Ooh. Getting my drink on it. So bring on the wing nuts. Shivabu. Shivambu to you, pagan goddess. Fuck yeah. Thank you very much. That's sweet. Very, very sweet of you. Oh, yeah. Also, just want to, like, just want to mention my Twitch channel. Uh, we have a new sub sound. It's called Evolution. Bitch. I love it. It's fucking great. 
I laugh my ass off every time somebody subs now. It's too funny. Let's do it. Let's go. <clears throat> this is coming to us from uh, Rachel Seller, uh, the forensic nurse. She hasn't really been doing much as far as like YouTube goes, but she has apparently a friend who has a church, and they decided to make this video. Also, as a side note, I know chat's all borked, but I'll eventually see the messages. How is this microphone? I know, like, it makes weird handily sounds. I have the other microphone right over there. So if you prefer the old microphone, you can say old microphone, or you can say new microphone is fine. You know, just let me know. I want to make sure everybody's having a, a comfortable time, and it sounds good. Let's go. Natural nurse in a toxic world in Boxford Church. The church is closed because the people of the church don't read the Bible. Pharmacia, sorcery, and witchcraft. They closed their churches. They've cut off that you can't sit. Please show with the camera, Katrina. You can't sit behind because they believe that this is a virus. They're believing the lie. Look at all the arrows on the floor. And you know what else? They're telling us you have to wear a mask in a church and that only one person can sing. That's if you could even get a service because they're not doing services. And now the evangelical Christians are saying that we need the vaccine. Vaccines that have viruses, funguses, mold, parasites, chemicals oh my God. that your cells to explode, aluminium, mercury that destroys your brain, <laughs> aborted fetal immortalized cells, MRC5 from a boy, WI38 from a girl, hamster, monkey, eagle, bat, RNA. It tells you in the Bible that you do not eat the bat. You don't eat the eagle. There's even aborted fetal foreskins in it. And oh, okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. Is there actually a, a verse in the Bible that you're not supposed to eat the bat and eat the eagle? I don't think so. Yeah, I see. I see in the chat. There's some. There's something weird going on with uh, with YouTube today. So the chat is like working, and then it's not working. So it takes a while for things to like catch up and everything. It's kind of frustrating. I know. I hate it. But we're gonna make it through. Also, um, <clears throat> aborted fetal foreskins. I don't. I don't want to sound. I don't want to sound shitty or anything, but wouldn't it take a whole lot of fetuses to get any, like, significant amount of foreskins? And don't they have to be, like, developed to a certain point where they actually would even have developed for... I'm thinking about this too much. And the church is telling you to have vaccines? Shame on all of them. These places are supposed to be of worship. And they should be open. And if they knew the Bible and knew Yahshua, they would know that you do not inject those things into this sacred temple that the Lord created for us. He created us in his image. Everything we need, he said to us, you shall find in the seeds of the fruits of the trees. That's exactly what he said. He didn't say, you'll find it on the end of a syringe by Pharmakia, the witches and sorcerers. <laughs> I rest my case. Wow, damn. Damn. That was some fire and brimstone, man. That was crazy. Uh, look. <laughs> I uh I've been really really eagerly hoping that the forensic nurse Rachel Seller would uh would make big big splashes because like I'm always on the lookout for for a pretty consistent wingnut to give me some good material. Um and she has not even though she was being, and I really do believe that she was being groomed um, by some of the biggest names in wing nuttery out there. So, I don't know. It's very strange. It's very, very strange. Uh, rather than just, like, switch to another screen, I think I'm just going to do this. Hey, look at that. Portability at your fingertips. <clears throat> All right. Where did it go? Do, 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 do. Uh, Willie or Blueberry, hey, yo, Daddy Jeff, watching you from Italy on a very late night. Haven't been able to make a donation before, but I'm very glad to do so now. Also, where do I send art? Oh, wait, shit, fuck, man. I already read that. Damn. Okay, well, damn. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Or Dandy says, when chat doesn't work, consider joining the Discord. Just check out the link in the description. Might take a minute to get in, but at least you get to chat. That's true. 
Uh, I've been very active lately with my Discord, um, and uh, we've been uh, we've been trying to like develop some more fun stuff to do. And ne starting next month, there's gonna be a lot more to do, uh, especially in the Discord. It's gonna be gonna be pretty crazy. Doubt Field says you can't tell me what to do, Earth Mother. Ooh woo. Jokes aside, stockpile coom. What? Oh shit! Fuck! I already read that too. <laughs> Rodent, no, la no last name. Finally catching a live stream. Found a dead body last night, so could really use the lols. All right. Uh, Aunt Cecilia just tuned in. Semen eating, really? And Jeff, what are you wearing? Your elderly Aunt Cecilia has questions. I'm wearing America. Erica, bro. I think one of the I think one of the other ones actually didn't. Uh, didn't make sense. Or didn't make sense? Didn't make sound. Didn't make sound. Jesus Christ. Oh, it hasn't popped up yet. That's why. Uh, Aunt Cecilia, I'm wearing America. All right. Erica Bro, just watched Tombstone and thought of you. Love you, Jeff. Doc Holiday, thank you for all you do to you and your family. Please stay safe. I'll do my best. Uh, Soulstone, hi Jeff, you should collab with Jimmy Snow sometime. Also, if you have a P.O. Box, I have pecan praline whiskey for you. I do, and I would absolutely love your whiskey. 100%, okay? Yeah, dude, get my P.O. Box. I'm super down. <laughs> Drizzed, roundup, and a new truck. Best day ever. Fuck yeah, dude. Two more. The Mortifero joining late today. Have you and your family been, Jeff? We've been great. Uh, and Fiber Zombie, what are we drinking? I got Tito's and Trulies. Uh, today... Today we are drinking on the, the finest the white claw. All right, let's do it. Stay. Let's go. <clears throat> Bam. Yes. Yes. I can't even explain to you how happy I am that somebody clued me in on this dude. The third energetic intelligence organizes the mind and the automatic thinking, what's called the thalamus, that period of the brain. Ah. Information comes in, it sorts it. Do, it. do I have to put a constant attention or not? You're driving a car, and as you're driving the car, in the middle of the night, you go like, where am I? How did I get there? Thank God, God was a pilot at that time. What happens here is at that point you carry, any time you carry an automatic behavior, you do it. And automatic behavior is carried by a story. You think you know your mother, or your father, or your husband, or your wife. If you argue with them, you don't know them. You don't know him. I know your concept of him. Automatic. Once you have a concept, you can't experience reality. There's no energy for change. And why do we have a concept? So we can automatically go in our life and have to process everything because to go to the cortex takes more energy. Right. It takes more, more energy to go to the cortex, whatever the fuck that means. This dude, Donnie Epstein, um, so he's, he's a chiropractor, but he's a chiropractor that, like, Trying to think of the best way to explain it. Donnie Epstein speaks like somebody who did, you know, too much ayahuasca in the forest and he came back and he can't really like say a sentence. Like he doesn't know what a period means. He just kind of like fucking says things and they kind of make sense to like literally nobody except them. Uh, but he's a chiropractor who does like some kind of weird energy work and I have no idea what he's talking about. Usually, I can I can understand this stuff pretty good. The other mother says, from the great prophet Shivamsen. Shivamsen? Shivamsen. Uh, White Claw is best described as making love in a canoe. It's fucking close to water. That's true. That's true. I don't mind. It's not an efficient Just wait for it. need to decide to do this. Now, wait the network it. wave originally started with this area in mind. And I found where, of course, people in India, or people don't have that much of a sense of self, they very often don't have as much of a wave because it's not that energy that's, energy that's bound Wait, up. Wait, people there. in India don't this have a sense of self? This is early development of the self. This helps you after you say, what does that mean? I set this boundaries, this is who I am, I like this, I don't like this, good, bad, right, wrong, these are my rules in life. So when this changes, it has extraordinary stress-busting effect because those rules you made up, which weren't from you, you're like... What the f... She looks nice. Aren't for somebody else? Is he, authentically is, not you? They disappear. Are you are you gonna bust his stress? Is that what we're about to see you do? Are we gonna are we gonna watch you bust his stress? I want to see you bust this man's stress. And then you could choose more what you like. Okay. How does that sound? Yeah. yeah. So let's take a look and see what happens. Let's do it. To here. Bust his stress, right right. boy. Woo. Until left. Okay. I'm gonna come here now. 
And from the sacrum or down this area of the spine, we're going to go into effect the lower neck again. Okay. And I'm going to go like this. I'm going to come in like this and go a little deeper, which affects Wait. things more. And I'm going to create a wave. Here comes the wave. Here comes the wave. There we go. Can you see the wave happening? Bro, I see it. Right here. And I'm not affecting exactly the vertebra I want. I'm going to get the vertebra. Hang on. So, wait, wait, wait. So you're you're affecting a wave. He's anally injecting a wave into this man's butthole, but he missed because the wave went, oh, and he missed the spot. I feel like this dude plays this dude's asshole like a game of Cuphead. I mean, <laughs> am I wrong? Am, am I Look, am I that wrong? I don't think I'm that far off, honestly. All right, anyway, let's go. Vertebra, I want right there. There it is. Oh. oh. And the oh. wave moves through. And it took decades to- That's not chiropractic. That's butt play. You get it refined that way, decades. But based on research, we found what we're doing. This is this wave, that this is the basic wave that most of the research has been done with. And now he's- Research, research. If your research involves a bunch of Astro Glide and a rubber glove, uh, <laughs> you might, you might. <laughs> Look, you know what? I'm, I'm fine with it. You know, everybody's of age and they're consenting. Like, fuck, do your research, man. You're starting to rock this and that. You're starting to get what's called two oscillators. And between that, a field of inf- Two oscillators, one on each end, burning the candle. Of Ooh, you naughty- Influence is energy is shared. And as this gets more uh. coherent, both ends of the nervous system function <laughs> as if they're one. Whoo! Now, if you and I are one, we don't need words because we only co-experience. Yeah. Coherence is cohere. You sexy motherfucker. They say don't stick your dick in crazy. But we're going balls deep into the pseudoscience. Uh, I think in this case, it's uh, wristwatch deep. Make sure you don't lose your Fitbit, Donnie Epstein. <laughs> I'm so sorry, by the so way. evolution, bitch. Oh no, so people are subscribing over on my, on my Twitch. It's so funny though, shit. You know what, maybe I'll go and I'll read those. I'm I'm not keeping the Texas speech on forum though, but like I love the little the little Earth Mother animation thing that I made, and I love that sound effect. So maybe we'll leave it unless people go ape shit. Uh, I'm sorry, Donnie the Weeb Hunter, who has the same name as Donnie Epstein. Yep, Donnie Epstein. They're both experiencing no story, nothing, just the energy and pure information flow. Yeah, pure information flow. Epi-energenetics. What does the Earth Mother think about this video? The Earth Mother thinks this chiropractor is Meat Canyon's dad and the inspiration for the Bugs Bunny skit. <laughs> Who the fuck is Meat Canyon? And what's his dad like? I'm, I don't know what you're talking about, Earth Mother. Jesus, that's a reference that's way over my head. Hey, Donnie the Weeb Hunter, thank you very much for that. That was very sweet of you. Appreciate you, buddy. <gasps> Shabamboo! Hey. A tough guy with your shirt hanging out over here watching the roundup. Um, Nora Wild doing the hashtag Gortober art challenge while watching the roundup. First prompt is mind control. How very fitting. That's fucking rad, dude. Hell yeah. Uh, string theories. Hey Jeff, it's great to be watching another roundup. Say hi to my daughter Clara, who's in who is in college. Hello, Clara, who is in college. Keep it up. Uh, graduate. Don't be me. Actually, I did graduate, but I didn't graduate as high as I wanted to. Emmy Val, I finally finished the preparations for my Inktober. It's based on stories by Junji Ito. If anyone want to check it out, uh, it's I'm painting painting underscore whale on IG. Yeah, dude, I love Junji Ito. My uh, my hat actually, <clears throat> my uh, sea captain's hat that I love. Uh, has, I don't even know if that's going to show up, but it's got an Uzumaki uh, pin on it. I am a huge, huge Junji Ito fan. Huge, huge fan. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Queen of the Creed, I'm 21 on the 3rd. I'll finally get to participate in the drunkenness next roundup. Just missed it this month, but excited to see some nuttiness. Hell yeah. 
Uh, happy soon-to-be birthday. Actually, I saw some other people in the chat when it was working mentioning that it was their birthday. I can't get it back now, but if it is your birthday or close to, happy birthday. Um, Fiber Zombie, truly over the White Claw. Do a taste test comparison. Honey Pot, Dr. Daddy Jeff, time. JC Hong says, are you still friends with Nick? Sounds like he needs some emotional... Uh, you can message me about stuff like that uh, when we're not in the middle of the roundup. Uh, and one more, that's from the resub. My research says, Earth Mother is nothing without Web Daddy. As always, people, don't forget, you can also sub on Twitch. Love you, chat, and Web Daddy. All right, sweet. Let's do it. <coughs> do, do, do. Oh, yeah, fuck. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about James Charles. James Charles is YouTube famous, if you don't know that. This video is actually for the people, the youth, who follow this man. He is a person who is manipulating the youth, as well as oh. um, Jeffree Star, all these beauty gurus who are actually men portraying themselves to be women. This is a huge issue in our world today, that these men are portraying themselves to be women calls all of his subscribers and followers sisters. The government, the people who are at the top that are pulling the strings, pulling his strings as well, because most of these celebrities have been hand-selected when they were young to become what they are. MK Ultra Whoa. Dungeon and Manipulation Done, um, they've, they've been victims themselves. Okay, first and foremost, neither Jeffree Star nor James Charles pretend to be a woman. They are very unabashedly men. They just are very, very, very effeminate beauty guru, makeup guru, gay men. I think they're gay. They might be bi. They might be pan. I don't know. It's none of my business. It's none of your business either. Um, but look, <laughs> if you if you fuck that up right from the beginning, like then you you don't even understand the 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 context of the video that you're creating. Like, wow, you don't even know whether or not they're actually uh, trans or not. Why are you making a video? You could literally just Google it. You could just Google it. So if this video is not honestly for me to judge James Charles as a person because I don't know what he's been through, but they are using him um, to be possessed by the spirit of wickedness and lead all these young children into hell. And that is exactly what they are doing right now. And it is very easy to manipulate our youth because of the internet and because of social media because sure. they follow each other it's like <laughs> just like the black lives matter movement or um the lgbt movement accept that accept 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 <laughs> but if we continue to accept everything that they're giving us we will lose ourselves because we are not supposed to just accept everything a lot of the celebrities are transgender they've been they were born male to fee they were born male they went to female or female to male a lot of the celebrities are a lot and yeah before anybody asks the uh, the fighter inside is absolutely a transvestigator uh it's actually how i found her originally uh, i probably like two years ago when i first found her uh was because of her transvestigation uh videos that and she's obsessed with billy eilish fucking obsessed uh, yeah she she's clearly clearly a case of of satanism uh, I don't know if there's anybody else who's super old like me. Uh, I'm just fucking around. But older, uh, who remembers the panic over uh, Marilyn Manson. And previous to that, I'm sure there was, like, the panic over, like, Kiss or, who, you know, whoever. Um, Billie Eilish is, is, like, the new Manson panic. It's really weird. And I guess now Jeffree Star and James Charles are, too? It's kind of weird and um they manipulate us in that way so you think that you are um worshiping a man or lusting over a man when you're really lusting over a woman or you think you're lusting over a woman when you're really lusting over a man so um it's really disgusting how they have manipulated our brains and that is why you should not worship false idols that is what we do in america we i know what this is about i know exactly what this is about look okay <clears throat> hang on Okay, look, the fighter inside, I understand exactly what this is about. I, I, I have been there. I've had this struggle myself. I have a different reason for why I took the journey that you and I have both taken. It's because I don't like makeup. 
I don't wear makeup. I'm just a guy that doesn't really give that much of a shit. If you like makeup, good for you. But me, I'm not that big. So I didn't even want to like Jeffree Star or James Charles. But facts are facts. James Charles has one of the nicest asses on the planet. And I get it. Look, I get it, honey. I get it. It's hard to come to terms with. It is. It's like a thing out of a fucking movie. It's bizarre. And it's weird because it's also not fake. It's one of those things that, like, raises the bar for everybody else on the fucking planet. And you're like, that's not fair. That shouldn't even fucking exist. That's not fair. How in the fuck is my ass ever going to compare to that? That's not fair. And it's not fair. But it's real. And you got to deal with it, just like I do. We can get through it. You just got to stop spitting so much fucking hate. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ. People, man. People are nuts. <clears throat> Looks like the chat might be fixed, is it? Is the chat fixed? If everybody starts freaking out because I'm talking about Jeffrey, uh, uh, J uh, James Charles, but then uh, then I'll know it's working right. Uh. <laughs> we'll see. Hang on. Doom, 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 doom. Enchanted Wolf, thank you very much. Brand forever. Ooh, Harry Potter found the Chamber of Secrets. That's right. Enchanted Wolf, a drag queen would do that for less money. I don't know what that means. Honeypot, also Miss Mems too. Hope your family is doing well. I'm a huge fan of y'all. Much love from me to you guys. Much love to you. And Shannon Wolf says, worship drag queens. Yes. Yes. Hey, it is working. Okay, yeah, it seems to be working. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, don't jinx it. Everybody, don't. D listen. We don't want to take chat for granted. It's finally back. So only high quality chats from here on out, okay? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta savor. We have to savor our chat by only putting out the most high quality chats right now, okay? I know it's hard. I know it's tough, dude. I'm with you. I'm with you. I feel it. All right, this is fucking. <laughs> this is great. Let's go. <clears throat> Shabam boom. Just drink it in for a second. Okay, everyone, this is the most effective way to rid yourself of coronavirus. I have the blue light and my mask, especially designed. It's very quiet. The CDC is a prototype. So with the both of them, I just <laughs> sterilize the area. Okay. And I have my shield, so... I'm good. The problem with my <laughs> eyes, coronavirus can get in your eyes. Oh. So, I'll talk to the CDC about getting something for the eyes. Good, good, good. They are incompetent. Oh, no. Stupid as shit. Who's stupid as shit? Oh, shit's a rock. That's better. <laughs> Man. Yeah, so Steven Rodriguez... Uh, <laughs> with uh, his foolproof plan here for uh, for blocking the coronavirus. Personally, <clears throat> personally, I, I I can't see how this could possibly go wrong. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, somebody somebody sent me this. Um, this is really interesting. I don't know. I don't know who the fuck this guy is. Spiritual So? Spiritual So? He's got 1.11 million subscribers. So good for him. Good for you, dude. Um, but apparently he makes... He makes videos about chemtrails sometimes, which that's interesting. That's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. Uh, so... <laughs> this is 12-year-old gets mad after selling her soul. Apparently this 12-year-old wrote him a letter about how she sold her soul. So uh, let's just enjoy this. So listen, so this toy year old, she said, I spent hours typing my witchcraft experience. You don't care, now I think you fake. She said, now that you didn't answer countless of my emails, you're not gonna read this, so fuck you, motherfucker. Damn, fuck me, man, fuck you. <laughs> Shit, I got, I got a soul. Now that's tough. Shit, my soul is here. I'm not, you emailing me, I'm not. 
This is why you gotta protect your energy. It's easy to get involved <laughs> with this type shit. Definitely gotta see protect how low your energy. her vibration is? She mad at me because I ain't see her emails. Hundreds of thousands of people watch my vids. She thinks she the only one emailing me. Now listen, she said, she said, now that you didn't answer countless of my emails, I know you're not gonna read this, so fuck you, motherfucker. I wrote my heart and soul and energy out. Yeah. You a fake ass, dumb ass YouTuber. Yo, chemtrail talks are stupid. You just proved me, proved how dumb you are. So shut the fuck up, spiritual soul, you gay as fuck. Now listen, imagine, this is what she sent me after I didn't see her emails. Imagine if I took all my time out to help this girl. Yeah. Look what type of person this really is. See what I'm saying? You have to protect your energy. This is how some of the chosen ones get caught up in bullshit. This could be not just with this situation, anything. You could be fucking with a female that set you up or something. What? They all are, bro, this is a spiritual war going on. Okay, spiritual war. A lot of souls is getting snatched. These motherfuckers are just like, they body, like the Matrix. When you watch the Matrix, when, 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 what's his name? When he turned, when he could turn into anybody, you killed a motherfucker, the nigga that turned into the next person. You got to, <laughs> bro, that's how these souls be taking over people's bodies. Having them doing all type of different shit. That's how these fucking demons be doing y'all motherfuckers. Now listen. I fucking love this shit. I something something happened the the past few days uh, while we were looking up for so, trying to find like we know round up uh, content. Um, so many Matrix uh, uh, references, like a, an unbelievable amount of Matrix references. I don't know how many of them actually made it into the lineup, but god damn, so many. Had you arguing, cussing out, then had you apologizing the next day. It wasn't you that did this shit in the first place. So listen, her vibration is very low. I'm not going to scoop down to her level, but she basically mad at me. So let me give y'all an idea because... Yeah, man, you put that 12-year-old with low vibration on blast on your 1.11 million <laughs> subscriber YouTube channel. Just blast her, man. Blast her. Blow her out. She sent me a full paragraph. She basically said that she, she met two students when she was in school. 444. She met two students when she was in school and they had a book of, of, of spells, some shit. So they basically told her to do the spell. Let me read something to y'all. So look, she said, a few years ago, she met two warlocks in school. They were both <laughs> a level two. I don't know what the fuck she talking about, but I'm about to just read it to you. They had a, a very book. They had an old, very good book of shadows and spells. And they said it worked first try. Please feel my energy on this. This is all facts. Okay. I don't feel your energy, sis. Simple. Okay, at this point, I really, I just have to point it out. Uh, this is all bullshit. This dude got trolled really, really, really fucking hard uh, by somebody pretending to be a 12-year-old. None of this is real. But this dude got so invested, so invested. I, oh, man. Level 2 warlocks? Yeah, dude. Level 2 Warlocks. I mean, like, you wouldn't expect a Level 2 Warlock to really be able to get that much accomplished. But through the clever application of, of the right kind of spellcraft, you know, you can affect some pretty interesting change. <laughs> also, a show of hands in the chat. Um, I've been thinking about getting the Illuminati symbol tattooed on the back of my hand so I can do that. What do you guys think? I've been thinking about doing that. I think that'd be a pretty fucking cool-ass tattoo. That really freak out anybody who's like trying to like, if if I make if I make like a video on them where they watch the Wingnut Roundup and they're like, <gasps> he's got the fucking the triangle with the eye on his fucking hand, dude, and like freak him out. That'd be great. I'll, I will totally permanently mark myself on my body just to freak people out. I uh, of course I would. Of course I would. Shwambu. Okay. <clears throat> All right, awesome. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. We've got... Oh, shit. Hang on. Uh, BC Brandt. Steven Rodriguez may be a loon, but his voice is lit. I want that man to read me bedtime stories. You know what? I will agree with you. Uh, Steven Rodriguez may be a total freak who uh, likes to saw open the fascia of the face and spinal column at times. He's got a great fucking voice. Donnie the Weeb Hunter says, I found a wand for you today. It was in my basement. It's a 32 inches long, has a gripped handle, and made out of high-quality maple. 
It's also multi-purpose because it can also be used in those house defense or hitting a baseball. Oh, <laughs> that's a big wand. Uh, Panda Pup says, hey, Dr. Daddy Jeff, I just want to say you are great. I just opened a red bubble recently. Missy Moo Media, shameless plug. Uh, love the wingnut roundups. Thank you so much. Nora Wilde says, get that tattoo. What you guys say in the, uh, in the chat? Yeah, I should do it? Sweet. Sweet. Oh yeah, fuck. Let's let's do uh let's do that that uh that time code real quick with David Wilcox. Uh 3 hours 43 minutes. Yeah. Good good reminding me there Monk Mayfair. I really appreciate that. You're you're on top of it and like sometimes the roundup is kind of a collaborative effort, you know? It really is. So let's do it. Let's go. Whoop. Taped in front of him and killed. I don't support that kind of stuff, folks. I don't. What? You can't do that to people. But they do, okay? And it's part of the problem, is that this is I'm all real. The coast. I rarely watch live, but I am currently recovering from collarbone. Surgery, so can't do much else. On the plus side, I'm now officially bionic, so I will be. That's cool. Joining our robot overlords in the coming AI revolution. Suck it, human scum. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it, human scum. Soon it will be a revolution of the augments. I actually was watching uh, Enterprise last night and got to the, the part of the augments. Um, yeah, no, he's crying about something. Um, Jesus. Uh, damn, you picked a fucking brutal one. Let's just back it up about a minute and see what's going on here. Any of this stuff? You think I want to talk about this? You think I want to be up here on this fucking camera talking about this shit? I'm sorry. I didn't know it was going to get like this. I didn't know it was going to get this bad. Uh. And I'm the positive guy. I mean, I always try to make it positive. But this is just crazy. And if you can't see what's going on, I'm sorry. If you think this is all natural, I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry that you haven't been willing to take that step and feel like throwing up and go through this grief process that I'm going Jesus through right Christ. now. But you have to do it, okay? You have to go through this. You have to see who these people are and see what they would do. And that they would call somebody those kind of things and threaten them like that. And threaten him that his daughters are going to be raped in front of him and killed. What the fuck? I don't support that kind of stuff, folks. I don't. Okay, well, let's, look, listen. It's good that you don't support those kinds of things. I appreciate that. Holy shit. What the fuck, man? Okay, well, thanks for being a buzzkill. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go. Let's just move, let's just move on. Uh, okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> this is really important. I actually really wanted to, I wanted to mention something. Uh, a big part of the Roundup is kind of a collaborative effort between me and a bunch of other people, uh, sometimes people that I don't even know. And people like to send me stuff for the Roundup all the time. Don't just send me a channel. If you do find something, like, wow, this is really crazy, I bet you'd find something crazy in this channel. Don't just send me the channel. People do that all the time. I'm, like, flooded with it. Find me a video. Send me a video. Not the channel. Send me the video. And if it's not directly in the video, like if you send me a three hour live stream, I'm not gonna look at it. But if you send me like this guy did, he sent me this this video by Bible is Mark of Beast, which we've watched before. If I just watched the beginning of this video, I wouldn't give a shit. It's not that funny. But he found this time code. And I have no idea what this guy is talking about. And it's awesome. And we're gonna watch it right now. So like, this is how you do it, guys. Here's the noise. He just shoots out the window. He thinks somebody's stealing his chickens. So we're sticking around his house because we didn't want to go the long way around because there's a good night to hunt. We're going back into the wolf pen, a big old valley back in there with trees and lots of coons and things. And we was going to sneak by his house. So now listen to me. You get something in your soul. You let something down in your soul. You need to get it out. Because I was following Dave at night. And you've got to learn what a carbide lamp is. A carbide lamp back in the old days, in the 30s and 40s, the miners used them around there to mine coal with. So we'd use them to walk with. It's a little 
lamp that's got a little shiny thing on the bottom on it, you put carbide in it and you put some water in it, it releases gas and gives you a good light to walk by. We had carbide lamps to walk by, had a good flashlight to look for the coon. But we're sneaking by this house. Now get this picture. Get this picture. Don't forget this. It's quiet. It's so quiet you could hear a pin drop. Very quiet. And was going around this little path. Dave was looking down at the path. This very little light we could see. And then people were sleeping up on the mountain there in their house. And we were sneaking by that going back to the wolf pen to hunt coons that night. Ooh. And this took about 10 years off my life. Now listen to me. Dave was walking around through there, and all of a sudden, it was being real quiet. All of a sudden, he screamed. And it wasn't like somebody screamed in the throat. <laughs> he didn't scream like that. He screamed all the way down inside him like a teacher singer to sing from the diaphragm. He <laughs> and dived off that mountain with that black and tan hound. That black and dead hound was cutting a fit. <laughs> and Dave was down there striking that carbide lamp, trying to light, and Flint was lighting up. The lights come up on the mountain, and I'd run 10 miles in my shoes and had to move one inch. I strolled to the ground. That blue tick hound was running all up down my back trying to get loose, and I said, No, they're going to eat you first before they eat me. I'd never seen such a fuss. I was sudden in the stillness, in the stillness. Do you know what happened? What happened? Dave had got a thought in his mind that it went down into his soul. And I was trying to talk. I couldn't even talk. I, I was like, Dave, Dave. You know, I was about 13, 14 years. I said, I was trying to say what happened, you know. And he was down there riding that carbide lamp. And what happened? He come up there. And he told me something I never will forget all the days of my life. Okay, okay, fucking tell us. Dave told me. Uh-huh. He said, he called my name, and he said I was walking along through there. And he said I reached out. And I touched something hairy. <laughs> and it moved. I never will forget them words. What? He said, I touched something Harry, something that had hair on it, like a dog or something. He said, I touched something hairy, and it moved. So what? You know what they thought. I know what they thought. Everybody in the world wasn't knowing what they thought. But Ben David hunted in mountains all of their life. They had not been a bear in that mountain in 40 years. Them coon hounds had run them out of there. Them men with them shotguns and all. They wasn't no mountain lions in there anymore. There was no bears in the mountains anymore. But Dave got that thought in his mind when he was little that it was a bear <laughs> going to get him. And he said, I reached out and I touched something hairy and it moved. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know what the f <laughs> I I don't know what the fuck any of that was. The reason why... I had to include it, is, I mean, just look, listen, li look at this beautiful man, okay? Look at this beautiful man with his uh, B-I-M-O-B -B hat, his Bible is Mark of Beast, uh, the Bible is an idol on, on a fucking apron, and God sent the Holy Spirit. I... There are so there 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 are not enough unique people in the world and my god I fucking love this man. I have no idea what the fuck he just said. Well, I do know. Yeah, he said it was a bar. It was a bar. It was a bar. <clears throat> Earth Mother says, the prophet everybody shivambooz has stated my patronus is two midgets, a roll of duct tape and a banana. Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All right. <clears throat> what do we got going on over here? And yes, that's literally it. That was literally the only reason why we watched that video is because I, I just, I'm, I was tickled pink by that whole effort. Uh, <laughs> it seemed like a lot of effort, too. <laughs> um, okay. 
Dav Field says, I work in the morning, so i got to head off to bed. Can't wait to watch the rest of tomorrow. Keep up the awesome work. Thank you very much. Jeff Uwu. Ah, we're not allowed to do any Uwus. Remember, the Earth Mother decreed that this is an Uwu free stream. You're going to get in trouble. Uh, Tortitude personified. Junji Ito is such an awesome mangaka, and I'm happy he's getting the fame he deserves. Jeff, have you read Junji Ito's Cat Diary? It's strangely sweet and spooky. I have not, actually. I haven't read that one. Kareem Ali, Jeff, more content, please. I'm working on it. BC Brandt, Steven Rodriguez, maybe Loon. Oh, yeah, yeah, we already read that. Some of these, like, come out of order. I gotta, pay, I gotta choose whether I'm gonna read them out of this tablet or over here, because they're not the same. They get mixed up. So I think I'm just going to read them off the computer because I can move around with this uh, this microphone. Um, mm. Nora Wilde says, get that tattoo. Pretty sure I'm going to. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to have to. Martian Bunny, thank you so much. Kelly Montelius, yo, what the fuck? I did not know that the time code would be that heavy lol. That's all right. Uh, Creepy Kitty, hey, Uncle Jeff, managed to catch a roundup after all. My boyfriend is watching with me his first time. He is not ready. No, you're not. The end of this roundup, if you watch this whole roundup live with me or in the future and you watch it all the way to the end, it's really going to fucking bother you like a lot. Like I'm going to fuck you up by the end of this roundup. If you watch all of it all the way to the end, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, cotton fluff bug tattoo monies. Thank you. Tor uh, Tortitude personified. Happy roundup, guys. Jeff, have you read Junji Ito's Cat Diaries? Class is spooky. You sent that twice. Oh, no. Uh, and one more. Donnie the Weeb Hunter says, Bruh, is this a lost chapter of Tom Sawyer or something? Because Jesus, that's what it sounds like. It does, doesn't it? It's a little weird. Um, okay. I don't really know. I'm just, this just got thrown in here just because. Just because. Just because. Fuck it. UWU, I want the Earth Mother to punish me with her tentacles for my sin of saying UWU, UWU. <laughs> She's going to get mad at you, Donnie the Weeb Hunter. Also, we've, we've got quite a few dispatches from the Earth Mother. We got Uwu, Uwu Earth Mommy. I believe that there are forces that are now fighting and combating inside of the Earth Mother. <clears throat> Perhaps too many people have access to the Earth Mother <laughs> right now. Um, and this is a print of a, of a tweet. Uh, but soft, what soldier boy through yon window cranks? Ooh! Yeah, all right. That's pretty good. I like that one. So, uh, Earth Mother does have very good uh, taste in hip-hop. I've known that for a while. Fuck. What did I do? Where are we going? Not that one. Okay, here we go. What's up, gentlemen? So there you are, What's minding up? your own handsome business. When out of the corner of your eye, still a birthmark, super sassy senorita, you look, and to your surprise, she's actually looking back at you. My God, what do you do? Hey. Of course, you freak out inside and screw everything up because that's what we do as dudes. But gentlemen, today, what do you do when you're walking around scratching your fucking nuts and all of a sudden across the gym while you're pounding your fucking protein shake after you just shot up your HGH and you see some chick, she's looking at you. Hey, what you fucking do? What do you do? I'm gonna take care of that because I'm going over what to do when a girl looks at you. Oh, this okay, video cool. is broken up into two parts. Part number one, I'm gonna walk <sighs> you through step by step exactly how you handle the situation. In the second part, I'm gonna tell you what to actually say. Conversation starters guaranteed to get you action. Technically, look, I don't know if I can handle this. I promised that I would try and watch this video for the roundup because, you know, I have a lot to say about it. Uh, but this guy is fucking insufferable. Like, this is the kind of guy that I'm pretty sure <laughs> has never dated a woman who can make eye contact with another human being. Uh, like, <laughs> I just get the most oogie, nasty, fucking gross, creepo vibes off this fucking guy. Look, it's real simple. I, I, I've been around for a while. You know, I may not be in my prime anymore, but if you're, if you're hanging out somewhere and you look across the way... You make, eye you make eye contact with a pretty girl, and you want to know what to do. It's very simple. You have to assert your dominance. So you have to first T-pose, and then immediately release fresh urine. She needs to understand that you are an alpha dog, and she will immediately be like, okay. 
That actually makes more sense than what this guy is probably going to fucking say. I just, I, look, <laughs> fuck this shit, dude. I, I, I cannot stand pickup artist content. It's so fucking annoying. It's so dumb. It's so fucking dumb. Like, I, if you want some real advice, uh, <laughs> the truth is there is no universal advice. Um, the best thing you can possibly do for yourself, not just in the, the course of trying to, like, get a relationship or uh, try and find love, uh, but just one of the best things you can possibly do for yourself in general. It doesn't matter what it is. Find something that you can you can derive confidence from. And it's not just for another person. It's just for you. And if you are more confident because of your own actions, you'll be more confident with your actions towards other people. And they respond to that because we are empathic beings. Uh, and if you do that and you communicate openly and you, you, you handle yourself with confidence, you are much more likely to attract somebody. That is my, that is my advice. That is my recommendation. Tell this man to back the fuck up. There is a thing called framing in a video, and he's fucking it all up. Dude, for real. For real. I don't like it. It's very aggressive. It's very aggressive. Wait, T-posing doesn't work? Well, no, T-posing does work. It does. T-posing and, and urinating everywhere absolutely works. It's just, I'm just saying, like, you know, it's kind of advanced for some people. You know, not everybody can do it. <clears throat> um, all right. <laughs> We're going to have a musical interlude. From our friend, uh, my name is Nobodies, uh, and I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick uh, while he plays for you. And I hope I'm back in time before he screams into the microphone uh, at the end of this video. <laughs> so I'm basically putting you guys on like a countdown clock of destruction. So let's hope I can be fast enough. Hang on. I'm gonna try and do this in record time. In record time. Just watch me. I'm a, I'm a fucking professional. your dirty vaccine with this toxic GMO and if you don't leave me alone it'll definitely come to blows but if you think that I am stupid and believe your fake COVID lie we all know that it is really 5G satellites in the sky. Deadly satellites and dirty needles cannot break this heart of mine. You can shove your fake COVID masks right up your own behind. And you can't fool us anymore With your phony mass media lies Deadly satellites and dirty needles <laughs> Cannot break this heart of mine Deadly satellites and dirty needles Cannot break this heart of mine you can shove your fake COVID masks right up your own behind. And you can't fool us anymore with your fake COVID mass media lies, deadly satellites and dirty needles. Cannot break this heart of mine. Okay, I stopped it before he screams at the very end. Uh, so I have breaking news. This is uh, this is deep lore happening here. Uh, we we got through our uh, our telecommunications device. Uh, we we got a message. I am a malevolent force spirit named Bethany, with two Fs. Uh, do not make fun of my name. I was homeschooled. 
We're only supposed to be getting dispatches from the Earth Mother, but it seems like things are not going according to plan. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, this is nobody's. He's uh he's a special man. He's a special guy. You know. <clears throat> Shabambu. All right. So <clears throat> let's get going here. Oh, load you piece of shit. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> oh, fucking Christ, man. Um, <clears throat> do, 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 do. I think this is one. Uh, Parallax Eclipse. Hi, Jeff. Can't stick around for a while, but I hope you're having a great week. Good luck with the roundup. Thank you so much. Um, Alita Gelford. Good night from Norway. Enjoy the rest of the roundup, everyone. Seth Benedetti. Caught you two live in a row. Uh... Oh, okay. Me and my lady Cheyenne, glad to catch you. You should debate Starcon on modern day debates. Ooh. Maybe. Uh, Seth Benedetti, uh, how did you propose to Mem's neat ideas? Okay. <clears throat> this is how me and memory, uh, how I proposed to memory. Um, I took her out to a Mexican restaurant, and we were hanging out and eating some food. And I was like, yo, you want to, like, get married and, like, make a baby or some shit and she was like yeah i was like cool yeah we should do that let's do that yeah i i'm i'm ready for that shit she's like yeah me too i'm like cool cool yep that's how i did it <clears throat> but i'm a romantic uh catlaberg art dude this fitness guy is so aggressive help i know i know uh glas galahad this guy had a time where a girl he checked out chose a friend over him like 10 years ago and he's still jilly juice level salty about it damn that's a good reference BC Brandt, damn Tom Waits has really let himself go. Uh, Essie Shilkute, your life size on this TV used to be you fun size. Damn. And Donnie says, I found the next song I'm learning on guitar. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, y'all. All right. Let's get... I'm getting some of these like closed down so that I actually have more room. Oh, yeah, here we go. <gasps> I'm excited. Oh, wait, first. Shit, we're getting lots of dispatches. Lots and lots of dispatches. Here we go. <clears throat> uh, this is from the Earth Mother. The Disciple. Donnie the Weeb Hunter requests much punishment from the Earth Mother. The Dunrich Horror will be dispatched shortly. You'll be punished to your heart's content. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is that? I don't even know what that means. I will desecrate this holy vessel with my corrupted wisdom. The Earth Mother likes to act like she runs shit, but I remember her from high school, and she was a prissy little princess. In fact, she borrowed a top from me and then puked on it at a house party and never apologized. What a basic. <clears throat> okay. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. So I, I looked this up actually before the roundup because I, I just wanted to know right off the bat, um, <clears throat> Uh, Plato never said that. <laughs> never said it. That's not an actual quote from Plato. All the websites that say, like, that's from Plato, they never attribute, like, where Plato said that. He didn't say it. It's all fucking bullshit. Spirit science is bullshit. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today, we're taking another turn on the What If Highway, similar to our recent episode about chakras. This time, though, we're getting real sci-fi. We're talking warp engines, teleportation, oh, good. And time travel kind of stuff. At the risk of triggering some Einstein enthusiasts, or Neil deGrasse Tyson, well, scientist discretion is advised. Let's talk about the speed of light, and more specifically, what, if anything, is faster than it? Okay. Tachyons? Kind of, sort of, depending on how you think about them. Sort of. To begin, this episode was inspired by an early Joe Rogan podcast where he featured Dr. Stephen Greer, ah! the founder of CSETI, the Center for the Study of Extraterrestrial Intelligence, oh my as well God. as the Disclosure Project. He's a man who has brought to light over 4,000 cases of UFO landings and over 3,500 pilot cases of UFO sightings and over 500 reports of whistleblowers from military and government officials reporting yeah, on both yeah. UFOs oh, as well as ET encounters. Okay, Joe Rogan has also had Bob Lazar on his podcast, okay? Uh, I, I I kind of like Joe, and sometimes I really don't like Joe Rogan. Uh, I'm kind of half and half right now. 
if you're trying to make a, a, a science video, yeah, I know this is spirit science, but if you're trying to like actually make an argument that there is a science theory behind this and that and the other thing, don't base it off of, this all comes from a Joe Rogan podcast. Dude. No, stop. Stop right there. Stop immediately. It's fine if you're like, hey, this guy was talking about like therapeutic uses for like mushrooms or something, and then you go and you research it, and you find like a really good source, and then you want to talk about that, which is also a really cool topic to talk about. Um, but just straight out of like, I watched Joe Rogan, and now I want to talk about how things are faster than light. No. Including over 100 Not. of these reports on videotape. And on a completely side note, Joe, if you're watching, please bring Dr. Greer back on your show. Anyways, what he described in this podcast is that all of these ETs who are visiting the planet, and they're definitely real by the way, are not coming here in methods that are within the confines of the speed of light or slower, because it would take millennia to actually travel across the universe at these abysmally slow speeds. They're actually moving faster than light, somehow. Now he explains that after passing the speed of light, it's an entirely different and new kind of physics, different than anything we currently know. While the prevalence of light being the fastest thing has been experimentally proven by our current model of physics, if there are aspects of the universe that are unseen by us and based in undiscovered laws, then perhaps the belief of light above all is limiting us from perceiving an even greater truth. That's literally not how anybody talks about this. None of this is actually rooted in, in anything uh, remotely scientific theory. No, D okay, <clears throat> we understand certain things because that's the the limit as far as we understand them now that's it simple as that we we assume that the top speed is the speed of light because there's a barrier there that we don't understand how we can go beyond it could could in imagination land things go faster well yeah star trek is a fucking thing like that's how they explain a way getting like moving faster and shit but like what the fuck is this supposed to be like the, the just the simple way of how we communicate science is so like butchered by this video. The constant interpretation of people looking at this information, saying it's debunked, and then ridiculing it is actually holding us back socially and technologically. Dude, In kiss my fucking ass. Yeah, like th this is the same channel that talks about how there are like interconnected fucking eldritch pipelines of energy across the goddamn planet. Dude, fucking suck my dick holding you back what the fuck like, like we, look we we could do experiments into advanced particle physics or we could sit around and jack off and talk about chakras like fuck you dude one particular moving section of this interview steven explains that at Sorry. one time he sat down with the cia director's family and the director's wife asked him well how are they getting here referring to the aliens and he answered that they have this advanced technology that interfaces between thought and consciousness. He describes that just like crossing the sound barrier was a big deal, the light barrier is going to be an even bigger deal. And when we do, we are going to cross into these sort of multiphasic resonant dimensions. Okay. It, it's connected to their thoughts. That's apparently important. But then we talk about how we're going to move fast because we're going to we're going to travel into the multiphasic. Hello, Jeff. Getting my hey. mom to watch for the first time. Hi, mom. <laughs> Can I get you to please, please call her a hobbit? Thanks Ho for all you do. Hello, hobbit mom. Uh, I love you, and I'm glad you're watching. Um, sorry if I'm going to lose my shit at a spirit science video. I'm really sorry, but <laughs> here we go. Part of which hook into the singularity of mind and thought. The CIA director's wife looked at him with wide eyes and just went, Wow, <coughs> you have to be something like that. And it was right then, in that moment, that I decided oh, we had to shit. make this video. Okay. Part of the challenge of understanding the faster than light conundrum is getting to know the initial problem in the first place. Sure. And why do scientists believe that there's nothing faster? To quote Neil deGrasse Tyson in his book, Astrophysics for People in a Hurry, we find the following. Among all constants, the speed of light is the most famous. No matter how fast you go, you will never overtake a beam of light. Why not? No experiment ever conducted has ever revealed an object of any form reaching. Ugh. I don't really need him to fucking read this this huge quote from uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. The ingenuity of inventors and engineers. We will never fly. Flying will never be commercially feasible. We will never split the atom. We will never break the sound barrier. We will never go to the moon. 
What they have in common is that no established law of physics stood in their way. The claim right. we will never outrun a beam of light is a qualitatively different prediction. Right. It flows from basic time-tested physical principles. Right. Highway signs for interstellar travelers of the future will justifiably read, the speed of light, it's not just a good idea, it's the law. To actually get into the science of light, and the whole deal here is honestly a whole video on its own. But basically, <laughs> the speed of light is this curious property of light where it travels at a particular speed no matter what. Even if you were flying a spaceship at half the speed of light and had headlights in front of the ship, that light would still travel at the speed of light, yeah. no faster, measured from any perspective, moving or not. Because it's the speed As of he light. he wrote, no modern physics okay. experiment. <clears throat> All right, I just want to know if, if like, they're going to start talking about the speed of thought. That's the main thing that I was trying to find in this. Oh, God. It all looks like such shit. Here, let's just listen to this. Spence in a study to see if there were any clinical benefits of using DMT. <laughs> but the study revealed <laughs> opened up a wormhole of possibilities oh that could my potentially God. change our understanding of ourselves <laughs> and the universe forever. Of course. Over and over, Rick's participants all experienced these incredible psychedelic voyages that often included seeing environments and realms that were outside of what could physically exist in our universe. Oh, so they traveled faster than the speed of light. sizes and shapes who interacted with the participants. Rick tried- Okay, look, I, I understand what the problem is here. Uh, the, the problem is, is that uh, somebody at Spirit Science uh, did some, some hardcore, hardcore Deemster sessions, spoke to some machine elves, and they were like, wow, dude, my brain must have traveled faster than the speed of light into the etheric realms of multiphasic reality. Thereupon I talked to the eldritch horrors. I have seen things that no man has ever seen. And they're like, wow, shit, you must have traveled faster than the speed of light because none of that shit's around here. I don't see any eldritch horrors. I don't see any like multiphasic realities or anything like that. Nope. Yeah. Under here? Nope. Yeah, man. <clears throat> it looked like you didn't even leave. You must have moved super fast like the Flash. Or maybe your brain moved like super fast. I don't know. Faster than the speed of love is the speed of DMT or something. People who take DMT... Look. <clears throat> as somebody who has uh, done his body weight in DMT over the years, um, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. But there are a few things on this planet more annoying than people who have taken a lot of DMT. They're insufferable. Absolutely insufferable. Holy shit. Oh my god. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on over here. That silly second voice is my sister, Moon Maiden. Yeah, I puked on her top. I admit it. But let's not forget about the time she borrowed my shoes and tripped and killed all the dinosaurs. Okay. Got some family drama. Uh, don't even front Earth, Mommy. I got your number from a Trek stop bathroom stall. Jesus Christ. Uh, and then we've got a Calvin, Calvin and Hobbes peeing into a cup and the words Shivambu. Well, it's nice to know that even though the Earth Mother apparently is fighting with a sibling over my printer, um, they're still thinking about piss. So at least they're in the, the, right, the right frame of mind for our stream. <laughs> I'm so happy that's happening. Um, okay. <clears throat> doom, 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 doom. Sarah N. Lowe, homeboy sounds like a Muppet. All I could think of is Rolf or Dr. Teeth. I hate myself for the comparison, too, folks. Creepy Kitty, my boyfriend has a biochem degree. anti vax stuff sends him through the roof. He's already mad. I feel ya. Esse shilkute. Uh, bonus for per mispronouncing my name. Er, way is better. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Griffin Doggo, sorry I can't afford much right now. Mentioned during Passions that my service dog needs surgery. Uh, tomorrow's the day. Much love, Griffin Doggo. And Bane, the service dog. Much love to your doggo. Um, Will Reno, my boyfriend, has never watched a Spirit Science video before, and I can't wait to show him this when he gets home. I couldn't I couldn't make it all the way through. The pacing was terrible. Mrs. Yates, uh, i.e. Cakes. Mrs. Yatesy Cakes. Yatesy Cakes. What books are you using as a mouse pad, and are they good read? I need suggestions for my book club. This is Chuck Palahniuk's uh, Haunted, uh, which is a notoriously uh, disturbing book to read. And then uh, Napalm and Silly Putty by George Carlin. Uh, Nim sa uh, says, hello, Jeff, getting my mom to watch. Hello, mom. Okay, I think we're caught up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. we're caught up. Okay. All right, here we go. Time for some, some, some detox, dudes. Let's do it.
I actually have a rectal probe up my butt right now. That's right. That tells us how hot. And as I'm talking to you, my temperature just went up 0.1 degrees. Listen, I know I get people hot. It's fine. I, uh, I understand. What up, ladies and gentlemen? We are doing hyperthermia. I'm here with my client and friend, Anthony. Got my temperature up to 99.1 right now. This thing is super, super hot. And uh, ideally, I would get my temperature to 102, 103, but it's my first time doing this. I don't know that I would go, I'm gonna go up that high. Um, I have a flight to catch in 24 hours, so. The thing that, like, okay. <clears throat> The mind of a wingnut is pretty amazing, you know, uh, and, and keep in mind, uh, Mason here is another guy who did way too many drugs in the forest and now he's all fucking weird. His is ayahuasca trips. Um, but yeah, it's very similar to chemical comp composition to DMT. But anyway, um, you know, you're sitting there and you're like, see, you find yourself randomly in a, in a weird uh, towel fort. Uh, with a thermal probe up your asshole and the first thing you think of is like i should record this why am i not recording this this is a great idea for a video if you say so um but basically this is a treatment where you burn up everything in your system viruses pathogens microbes bacteria you know it's like creating an artificial fever for your body most people think that a fever is bad and there's all these over-the-counter medications to mitigate fevers but fever is actually your body's way of killing the pathogen that has invaded your your organism so yes and fever, no. fever is a super powerful modality i have a ozone sauna at my house but this is another level of heat and also another level of precision because i actually have a rectal probe up my butt right now <laughs> that tells us how hot and as i'm talking to you my temperature just went up 0.1 degrees so yeah, anything else you want to share, Anthony? So, no, good times, good times. Yeah. So, Josh. Yeah, good times, yeah. I like to I like to in, in, invite men to my house. Uh, I like to put them in my, my tube and uh, cover them in, in towels and then uh, just, just squeeze my little probe up there. It's, it's science. Josh is doing a great job here. So, you know, we're, we're monitoring, obviously, the, the heat going into the system. Um, we're monitoring uh, his, his overall temperature and then we're making sure that we have, uh, you know, staying hydrated during this period of time. Super, super important. And it's also important to have to do this with somebody. Um, no, what's important is to not do it at all. It's very simple. Uh, he's not wrong. Uh, the, 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 the fever, the, uh, uh, <clears throat> the physiology of having a fever biochemical physiological effect of having a fever is very specifically to fight off a type of infection. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. But the thing is, your body knows when it's supposed to do that. Your body can also be tricked into doing it when it doesn't need to do it. But for the most part, if you don't have a fever, there is absolutely no fucking reason to make yourself have a fever. It's not something that you want to have happen. It's not. A fever is, is, is like a fucking sledgehammer uh, versus something that probably only needs to be very delicately handled with tweezers. Like, we have so many ways in which our body fights off infections. The fever is, is like a fucking nuke, dude. It's nah. And you know, like, the, the dude is probably just like, oh, I feel kind of low energy today. Maybe I should just, like, force a fever and, like, bake myself in this dude's fucking living room. Yeah. We're gonna be super healthy right now. Put that thing in my asshole, bro. Come on, dude. This. <laughs> I just. I'm. I'm sorry. I. It's so fucking ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Isn't this the guy that also Mason was the guy who also like randomly had a dude injecting ozone into his spine and shit? Like, none of this is helping you. All of it is bad. It's all bad. It's all bad. It's all dumb. It's self-destructive, masochistic, weirdo shit. <sighs> and I worry about people like Mason because he doesn't even have the wherewithal, the the sense to to at least get off on this sexually. This is all just bullshit, you know? Oh, man. I, I, I swear. Yeah, Unisonis did a pretty amazing, uh, amazing sauna video that reminds me quite a bit of this as well. That's a different... That's different. 
It's very different. I got sent that video a lot, and I'm sure you'd understand why. They do a, a home sauna with urine. Uh, gross. All right. Rip. Siobhan Boo. How's everybody feeling out there? I feel pretty good. We're over halfway through. I don't know if we're halfway through the videos, but we're halfway through the, like the usual time that we try and do. Um, we might go long. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how everything's uh, how everything's rocking. Um, Heather Moss. Hey, Jeff. I was afraid I was going to miss this. So glad I made it in time. I'm glad you're here, too. Uh, Essie Shilkute. I make custom fabric slash cloths, shirt or kilt size. Um, are you seriously offering to make me a kilt? I would fucking die for a kilt. As far as size, uh, I don't want to. Maybe you should email me at jeff at jeffholiday.com and I'll tell you my size. <laughs> um, Genesis Myers, it's a butt sauna. Yeah, it's a butt sauna. And Calimantarios. I'm just going to say it. If I find myself in a blanket fort with a probe in my behind, someone better be recording. That shiz has to be immortalized. I guess so. Um, I, if you say so. Oh, hey. It's time. It's time, everybody. It's time. It's that time of the roundup. Here we go. <clears throat> Welcome, everyone. Dr. Mandel here. There's a lot of viruses, bacteria, and pollen in the ear. Yeah. When it comes to congested sinus, pain in your sinus region, as well as that old stuffy nose, here is something that's going to make huge changes within seconds. We're going to be focusing with the paranasal sinuses, as well as a reflex from the brain to get that instant drainage and open up that stuffy nose. If you look here, the paranasal sinuses is made up of four sinuses. You have the ethmoidal sinus, the sphenoidal sinus, the frontal sinus, as well as the maxillary sinus. And they are all interconnected. Mm. But the majority of sinus conditions that we have yeah. are generally behind the cheekbones and up in the frontal sinus. I just want to mention, uh, this dude is a chiropractor. Just, just putting it out there. For those of you who don't know, and of course everybody everybody here knows, but if for some random reason there's somebody who's new here, um, this is the part of the Wingnut Roundup. Stop. This is the part of the Wingnut Roundup where we all have to participate. You have to participate with me. We're all going to follow the directions of Dr. Mandel here, uh, and we all have to do it. I'm going to do it. That means you have to do it. No excuses. No excuses. If you don't do it, Earth Mother will know. But we're going to be stimulating the zygomatic bone, which is our cheekbone, as well as pulling on our ears to open up the eustachian tubes. Those eustachian Sounds tubes sexy. are connected from the back of the nasal region to the middle ear. But when those eustachian tubes become congested, yeah. we can experience lots of pain, clicking in our ear, tinnitus, ringing in our ears, yeah. as well as vertigo, which is that dizziness so let me show you how fast enough wasn't vertigo an album by Def Leppard or was that just a song oh I feel like it was an album somebody in the chat will tell me effect of this technique is so we can get your sinuses to drain and open up that stuffy nose take your right thumb put it underneath the cheekbone you're gonna push yo I'm putting you on blast here audio slave dragon 13 you say you refuse I will fucking turn this goddamn show off. I will fucking turn this show off. I will. Don't think I won't fucking do it. I will fucking... You You want to ruin this whole thing for everybody? Or are you going to suck it up? You're going to grab your face. You're going to swallow your pride. And you're going to do what this weird baby backcracker bullshit artist here tells us to do. Okay? You're going to fucking do it. You're going to do it because we're all going to fucking do it. I'm putting you on fucking blast. That's right. Big old spotlight right on you. Do it. Do it now. In and out. Take your other hand, contact the lower part of the ear. Pull it straight out. Hold it there 10 seconds. Good. Just keep holding it. There. Ow! You'll feel that left sinus open up. No! Good. Take your left thumb. Put it underneath the right oh, cheekbone. Fuck. You're going to push in and out. Pushing it out. Take your other hand, contacting the lower part of your ear. Pulling it straight out. Uh, Hold it there 10 seconds. 
good as we no, open up it's not the good. right sinus region. Ugh. Keep holding it and release. Now the majority of you should feel some type of drainage or dripping immediately. Ugh, only my now pride. Now we're going to work the nasal region. We're going to take our fingers and squeeze our nose. We're gonna take a deep breath. And when we take that deep breath, bring yeah. your head back and hold your breath as long as you can. Okay. Let's go, deep breath. Hold it, bring your head back. Keep holding it, holding that air in. Good, keep your head back. Beautiful. This is gonna interconnect with the brain, what sending the your fuck? reflex back to the sinus region and the nasal area to open <coughs> it up. Keep holding it. No, no. When you cannot hold it anymore, I want you to let go of your nose and breathe it all your ear out as this your head goes awful, back down. This is awful, dude. <sighs> I love his now expressions, your dude. Nose. It's like magic. Is it like so magic? So do this technique. It's a kind of magic. And please, share this with a friend. It's a kind of magic. Leave your comments below, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel. I feel drainage in the wrong part of my body. Oh no. Oh no, man. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on with this. Uh, Moon Maiden was a cringe phase I went through in high school, okay? It's Bethany now, you slimy bitch. Also, the dinosaur thing was whatever. If you're so butthurt about it, just bring them back. It's not like your little human experiment is working out, judging by this stream. Hey, dude, fuck Bethany. Bethany kissed my ass. <clears throat> From the Earth Mother, after pondering for a time, freezing semen and using it in a smoothie should hereafter be referred to as making spoogies. This needs to be trademarked. I hate that I like it. I hate that I like it. Honestly, it it makes me mad. It makes me really mad. Um. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> we'll email. I made a couple of kilts. You till the kilt ish. Thank you so much, Essie. Uh, Cobalt Siren. Kudos from your friends up here in Albany, Oregon. Hey, what's going on? I love to find out that there's people who are, uh, who are local hanging out and watching. That's cool. Very dope. Hopefully we don't get more smoke. You know what I'm saying? That was, uh, that was some bullshit. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ. Uh, we're gonna get a little philosophical here in a minute. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, no, no. We're just we're just gonna fucking jump right into this. I I hate that we're watching this guy again, but you know what? It's a wingnut video. I watched a few videos of Richard Dawkins some months ago. It's quite funny how he talks against religion so much, but at the same time follows morals, which were created by religions. When you question people about morals, ninety nine percent will right away mention doing something harmful to a child as an example of a general wrong yeah that is programming a child is a human being who has grown less than an adult essentially what you're saying is that it's immoral to harm a human being who has ate less food which is what causes growth compared to a human who has ate more which is an adult Okay, first of all, none of that makes any fucking sense you goddamn weirdo this is the same guy who likes to eat high meat Last time we saw him, he he ate veal brains that were rotten for eight months. Like, this dude is a fucking freak. But this argument is dumb as shit. Dumb as shit. Look, okay. <clears throat> I could eat more than another person the same age as me, and I am not going to grow... Well... But I'm not going to grow in the same way a child grows... Uh, than the other person. That's that's uh, growth is not dependent on food. You need nutrition for growth, but growth happens because growth is predetermined by our DNA. That's very very simple. But the idea that the only reason why we have a morality that it's bad for things to happen to kids is not you fucking weirdo freak because they're just smaller, but it's because and this is true. Children represent much more than just the continuation of the species. They they represent 
the wider variety of genetic diversity, something that every single life form, from uh, bacteria to fungi to uh, insects to avians, reptiles, people, all require. Everybody requires it. Everybody requires genetic diversity for us to uh, improve and excel. So on that very basic principle, of course it is more uh, shocking and should be predisposed and conditioned inside of us to be more protective of children than adults. That just makes sense. If that doesn't make sense for you, it's because you're a fucking sociopath. This dude is a freak. It's an absolutely man-made belief. Morals are inconsistent and illogical. But also I think scientific facts can illuminate moral debate. In the case of abortion again, for example, uh, a, science, a scientist might contribute to the debate information about at what point during the development of, a, of an embryo um, the nervous system comes into being. And uh, presumably before the nervous system comes into existence, uh, there is no ability to feel pain or to suffer. And so maybe something important happens at the moment when the nervous system comes into being. On the other hand, you might say, well, even when a human embryo develops a nervous system and ha develops the capacity to, to perhaps suffer, it's still a much smaller nervous system than the nervous system of an adult cow. And so what about balancing the suffering uh, of a human embryo against the suffering of an adult cow when it's being slaughtered for meat? Okay. Uh, I just wanted to, to, for contextualization, this whole, the whole reason why Sverage hates Richard Dawkins is because Dawkins is uh, detailing out a uh, biological curiosity, uh, a thought experiment about the morality of eating meat. Now, um, I am not going to shame anybody if they eat meat. I do still somewhat eat meat. Um, but I still also vibe with, you know, some, some forms of, like, ethical veganism. Like, I don't buy torture eggs anymore. I only buy free-range eggs. It's, like, a dollar more, but, like, they're not torture eggs, you know? Um, <clears throat> but Sverage is very, very disturbed by this. This is, this is the main crux of his argument, is, is he doesn't like this because uh, animals are entirely uh, for food. I had to speed up the clip because he talks incredibly slow. Of course, you oh, care does. about abortions, embryos, because it's essentially about killing yourself. That's our natural instinct. It has nothing to do with man-made morals, especially nowadays no. with the depopulation agenda, Planned Parenthood. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait. 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 So. <laughs> so. So. Uh, in in the the sociopath's mind. Uh, the only real concern is like a, a representative uh, killing of yourself uh, through abortions. Okay, got it. Comparing that to eating a cow for meat, when it's our natural instinct to hunt and eat meat, is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, one could say that it's a natural instinct to breed and procreate whether the other person wants to or not, but we still hold back on those things. Uh, uh, shit changes. You're comparing nature to man-made beliefs. Um, an absolutist moralist would say, well, humans are just plain special. Cows are not human, so they don't deserve the same moral consideration. Um, but a scientist might come along and say, well, what do you mean by that? I mean, we are, after all, all evolved. We're all cousins. At what point would you, at what point in the evolution of, since we know evolution is a fact, at what point in the evolution of... Mm. Wow. <laughs> This is exactly how you can tell if somebody is religious, when they call their beliefs a fact. A fact is something that you sense, that you know, as in, you go outside, you see that the sky is blue, and let's say you write it down, you give it to somebody else, they read it, and all that they can do is believe you. Okay, how many people, just in this wingnut roundup alone, have we seen that are, like, detailing out how they had experiences on like DMT or ayahuasca, uh, the, 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 these, these wide ranging crazy hallucinations. Well, they just went out, they went out and they experienced it. So it must be a fact for them. The thing, there are a few things in this world. 
uh, that are more aggressively gross and fucking weird than a dude who will actually eat rotten brains. And it's somebody who has a very smarmy, self-important idea of how philosophy works. You're a fucking idiot. You're weird. He's a weird, weird, weird guy. Ugh. It, this this whole this whole like philosophical argument that he brings in this just drove me absolutely crazy. I was like, you know, I'm gonna take a little bit of time with the write up and just uh, just shit on it because I hate this guy. He drives me nuts. He's super creepy. Um. All right, let's go. Do 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 do. Brand ever. How have the authorities from whatever European country this guy's from not found all the bodies in this guy's crawl space? You know, the thing is, uh, I mean, I'm not trying to like. <sighs> I don't know all the details, but there's, like, a really weird, spooky bit of, like, history behind Sverage. I don't know all the details, so I don't really want to speak on it. But uh, uh, I think I think people have actually investigated the guy before. <laughs> uh, Nuclear Dragon, hey, just want to say that I hope you are doing well. I'm sorry to hear about your state being, you know, on fire and everything. Stay safe. Love you. Thank you so much. All right. What do we got here? Um... Hey, Earth, Mommy, and Jeff, Meet, and also Chat, uh, got him. Okay. And here's, uh, a Shrek face on ballerina legs saying, Hey, Sverage, check yourself before you Shrek yourself. Uh, yep. All right. Sverich is a Stefan Molyneux of rotten meat. Ooh, some B-tard. That's really good. That's really, really good, actually. That is a very topical and very, very appreciated reference. Holy shit. Um, so in other news, uh, J.R.A. Essex is continuing his, uh, his, his rant and screaming about how he's going to rain death and fire and destruction all over the world uh, with him and his son who is a dragon it's 309 yeah p.m. Mm -hmm. Saturday September 5th yep 2020 <laughs> this video of all the videos I've ever made this is the one that if you're a parent and your children are watching this video, uh, my advice, strong advice, is to turn the video off. Uh, make sure that they can't hear it. Put in plug, uh, head plugs, ear plugs, whatever. Suicidal Wolf um, Brimley. Yeah, dude. For real. I've got some stuff to say, and it's not made for children's ears. Yeah, you like so that title? You, Who the hell do you think you are, scum? I'm coming for you. Doesn't he look threatening? You would uh, pause this and go ahead and uh, do that if you would. I'm so fed up with all this disgusting scum that's running around not only on this planet. That's right. But especially on this planet. That's right. You look at the people... That are killing other people and laughing about it. They think it's funny in the street. That's right. Look at the CCP. That grotesque, what? disgusting scum that has destroyed the country of China. It's always been there. They've always had their issues. But the CCP are incredible, and now they're trying to do it to the whole world. Uh, they won't stop. Well, they're going to be stopped. I'm going to destroy China. Oh, shit. Um, oh, shit. He's gonna destroy China, everybody. China. He's gonna he's gonna destroy it. China. I've already been. I'm already doing it. I'm the thing that's over there. It's part of me that I've released. Uh, calling my son Leo, and that he's a huge dragon. He's been. He used to. He, within his body, when in his natural state within his body, you can hold the Leo um, uh, constellation. That's how big he is. That's he's amazing. He condenses energy. He's hanging around China. And China. he's the one that's been doing all this stuff with them. Uh, the, th the the CCP is getting ready to have their two big me meetings. So he comes out there and literally made it nighttime. He condenses his energy so much that you can't see through it. People were saying you could feel the darkness. Well, yeah, that's because it, it's his energy. It's my energy. He's still he's part of me. Damn. 
But this scum going around here and laughing about killing. Look, can we get some F's in the chat for China? J R A S X, big giant dragon son Leo is about to unleash holy hell, uh, condensed powerful J R A S X energy and destroy China. Can we get some F's in the chat, please? Killing each other here. I wanted you to check out this video. It came off of uh, uh, a YouTube channel called uh, Mr. Salty. Here. Take a look at what's going on here. This is some real scum. That's not China. Now you see this disgusting. What the fuck? That's not China. Hang on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. I get I, okay. I need to understand something before we move forward. Like, maybe maybe you guys can help me out with this chat. Hang on. <clears throat> Let's take a knee. Let's take a knee. Okay. Is Jay talking about the country of China? China. Or is he talking about a gangbanger over on East 46th Street named China Red? Is he talking about, like, his son, a cosmic dragon, is, like, hanging out and about to destroy a gangbanger who peddles uh, weed and cocaine? Or actually the entire country of China? China. I don't know. I can't tell. I don't know. I'm going to need your input on this one. Break. <clears throat> Worth a piece of shit that's got a brick in his hand. Acting real cool, like he's sneaking up on this guy who's just walking. That guy's thinking about um, how he's going to pay the bills, some, something he's got to do in his house with the books. I'm looking at the guy's brain, what's going on. The guy comes up from behind him and hits him with a brick and knocks him flat out immediately, face first. Damn. This poor guy actually, the guy lived through it. Let me tell you something, you worthless piece of shit. Yeah, well, I'm coming yeah. for your ass. Uh, this body cannot hold me much longer, and you and I have a date, motherfucker. Damn. That's enough of your shit. Damn. And all you little bitches that are over there laughing, thinking yeah. it's funny, you wait to see what the hell I do to you. Y'all are going to have nightmares Don't about laugh. this huge dragon Don't that's laugh. black with silver moving in and out of it, a huge lion with sil that's black with silver coming in and out of it, and... Look, look, it's not just a regular lion, it's not just a regular dragon, it's a lion with silver coming out of it, and it's a dragon with silver coming out of it, okay? Look, you think this is fucking funny? Are you laughing, sitting there on your fucking couch? You don't understand? The fucking dragon, lion, lion, ferocious beast from China, China, is coming for you, okay? Living, fire, same thing. Large dragon, large male lion. What are you going to do? Coming at you, tearing at you, ripping you. You're going to be waking up and you're going to have marks on yourself. What the hell's going on? You'll be I'll like, tell you what's going on. What, how did I get this pimple? What the fuck? I, I use, uh, what, what's a, what's a, what's a fucking sit cure? It's been a long time since, uh, uh, proactive, proactive. I use proactive. Why do I have zits? Why? Because the giant silver chaos dragon lion creature. On me. I was made to serve and protect in the very beginning by the yeah. original first ones. Yeah. They literally screwed everyone up. That's they right. did nothing but abuse everyone. The first ones they abused was me and my female half. And I felt like killing them then, but I wasn't big enough or strong enough. This is the last life I'm having. Because I'm now strong enough to take on everything, including the four new first beings that have already, uh, you know, grown, become, whatever, uh, evolved, uh, come into being and evolved and are locked up in the first dimension. What the fuck is he talking about? Clear as sill. Clear as sill. Right. Clear as sill. I'm 38 years old. I don't get zits anymore. I can kill everything. Just myself. So now I, I know. can know for a fact I'm strong enough to protect everything. So now this is the last life I'm having. This body can almost no longer hold me. I'm getting really close to coming out of it. And the first thing... I'm coming out. Oh, oh, oh. I want the world to know I'm a silver-coated lion chaos dragon. I'm going is... The first thing I'm doing is going after you nasty bitches. Yeah, bitches. 
I'm gonna torture you. Yeah, torture you bitches. Scum! You scum. Who the hell do you think you are? Jeff Holiday. Wait, no, he wasn't asking me. Sorry. On the other side, that's what runs everything on this side. Right. What? Everything that's been running it on the other side was abusive and everything else, dead. Right. I got rid of them. I killed them. Deleted them while I was in a body, yeah. which is almost impossible to do. That's how big I've grown Wide over having 10.846 trillion lives. That's a lot, dude. <laughs> that's a lot. I don't know. Let me tell you something. They, look, you had me throughout like the lion chaos, but like trillion lies. I don't know, man. That I mean, I mean, <sighs> this, fucking, this fucking expression. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta see. I gotta see if I can do this. Hang on. Let's see. Hang, hang on. Oh shit. <clears throat> here, here. Am I doing it right? I think I'm doing it right. I can't tell. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, no, I'm good. I'm done. <laughs> I want to keep watching this whole fucking thing, but like, Jesus Christ, dude. I, oh man. I could spend way too much time watching J-R-A-S-X videos. Oh my God. Holy shit. He does, he looks very smug. He looks super smug. I agree with you. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ah! Oh no. Did I really just unplug myself? I did. Motherfucker. Hang on. Now it's not going to be a problem uh, ever again. It's extra, extra, extra long cord. Um, let's see. Where are we at right now? Uh, dun, 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 dun. I hope you guys are feeling good. I feel really good. I, like, <sighs> nothing makes me laugh like the Roundup makes me laugh. Um, Bastiancas says, he looks like a low-res character from Half-Life 2. He does, doesn't he? He totally does. Um, and Violet says, Hi, Jeff. We're in Melbourne, Australia. Thanks for keeping us laughing through this lockdown. Plenty of wingnuts here in Oz. I have heard. Uh, yeah, no. I Not that long ago, I got clued into a huge amount, huge amount of Australian wingnuts. There is so many of them, uh, especially anti-vaxxers. So... I'm uh I'm probably going to be doing something with that here in the future quite soon. Quite soon. Do do do. Okay, I'm getting everything all set up over here. A doom 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 doom. doom. All right, what do we got going on over here? <clears throat> Uh, Earth Mother says, listen here, Stepford wife, or whatever you're calling yourself these days. You talk a big game, but we all know why you never show your back to me. You got the worst back knee in the galaxy. Oh, man. Stefan, Bethany has back knee, apparently. Uh, <clears throat> China be like, fight me, you little bitch. China. Uh, chicken arise. Arise, chicken arise. That is actually, like, one of my favorite references ever. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. One of them tried to send me my own face uh, in my, my close-up, and it did not print, unfortunately. We only do black and white over here with our uh, psychic transmissions from the Earth Mother and Bethany. Uh, this old man really just telling us all about his deviant art OC. I'm shook. He's too powerful for Bethany. I fear my sister must handle this. Of course. Of course understandable well, i'm glad you guys are having fun um <clears throat> earth mother and bethany right hi so you guys are gonna have a treat here uh you get somebody far more beautiful and sweet than i am uh let me lower this down a little bit <clears throat> you are small you are small um so 
<laughs> no, I mean like to stand on. <laughs> oh, to stand on? Yeah. No. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, take your drink. Okay, I'll be right back. Tibetan monks know the secret of levitation. Hi, guys. How's it going? How, is the chat working again? I don't know. He's got like super chats pulled up here, so I can't even see you. Uh, let's go. I hate that the space bar doesn't actually pause it. It's true though. Have you guys actually seen sound waves like levitate stuff? It's actually really cool. Uh Oh, Earth Mother is saying something. What what do you have to tell me, Earth Mother? Mems is the heart of the show. Everyone is required to show Mems all the love. Signed sincerely, Earth Mother. Well, that is just Absolutely sweet of you, Earth Mother. Oh, I thought Earth Mother was saying something else, but it's just you coming in. But no, I was saying it's really cool, like uh, how you can actually like levitate really tiny things with, with sound, sound. Yeah. like water droplets and like random shit. It's really cool. I think they had, I don't know if they still do, but the Pacific Science Center in Seattle used to have a sound thing where you could like, yeah, yeah it's awesome. It's the power of levitation memory. Wait, okay. So if they could do that, yeah. why aren't they still doing that? They don't feel like it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is, we just, that's, that's boring. Well, I mean, like. It's old news. Well, I, you know, like, like people are like, well, you know, we've been levitating these boulders for like, like 3,000 years. Like. Do you guys want to keep doing this? No, not really. No, no, I've been wondering when somebody's going to say something. Yeah, let's just not do it anymore. Earth Mother's sister wrote in. Okay, what did Bethany say? It says, uh, listen, Earth Mother, it's Bethany. I'm sorry I said what I said. I just really look up to you, and I was always jealous of how many friends you had. And I wanted to say, hi, Mems, please pat Jeff on the head. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you know what? I think Bethany and the Earth Mother need to go on Dr. Phil. And if we can't get Dr. <laughs> Phil, we need to get, like, Dr. Ted. Dr. Ted, yeah. Or something, yes. you know? But for real, Earth Mother, please call me Dad. Call me Dad is worried. He says he saw some troubling Facebook posts on your timeline and he wanted me to reach out. Oh, okay. There's no punctuation, so call me Dad is well, what I read it first. Bethany never graduated, so we're not really that surprised. <laughs> I, how much is left of this video? We're almost done. Okay, cool. <laughs> we got a snort immortalized. That's great. <laughs> yes, for those that don't know, and memory laughs really hard, she snorts. Gaia. That's how you know it's true. It's Gaia. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So the reason the reason why I really wanted to watch that one, um, and I'm glad that like <clears throat> I'm glad you had to do it, so I didn't have to watch it twice. Um, is like you, 
right there. Uh, you probably have an aunt or a grandma or an uncle or somebody who's probably going to watch like Gaia because Gaia is now like the new pseudoscience mill for like super viral, easy spread. Like now this kind of videos be on the watch out for this shit. It's going to go all over the fucking place. It's, it's, it's God awful. They're going to be like, I'm so handsome. Gross. They're going to be like, did you know that the Tibetan monks used to use instruments to levitate boulders. And this is what you gotta say. Really? Uh, Aunt Denise? Why did they do that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> to get them up the hill. Oh. Why? They needed them up the <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Have fun with it. Just Earth, have fun with it. Earth Mother says the bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. The other side of the mountain was all that he could see. Mm. Green jelly. Green jelly is excellent. <clears throat> uh, also, I found out today that uh, hard kombucha is a thing. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And I n need to try it. Yeah. So if you all have specific brands of hard kombucha. This money is for M.E.M.S. Glad to see you. I'm sure you are busy, but will you be doing midweek mimosas again? I like you. Love to the holiday Love. clan from Waldport. Aww, will I be doing midweek mimosas again? It depends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Annika was really awesome hosting it with me, and I had a lot of fun doing it with her, but like, dude, fucking 2020 has been so stressful. It's so hard for me to find time to live stream the energy to live stream when i get off of work that's why it stopped the first time so it's easy if, for me because this is my job yeah uh if i can f somehow muster up the energy to do it again i will the other problem is in order for it to be midweek mimosas it kind of has to be on wednesday and annika is part of the whitaker community council so she has a meeting on wednesday did you know that geysers are just Earth Mother queefs? But if I can, <clears throat> yes, I will bring back midweek mimosas. <clears throat> I love you, chat. Love you, baby. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. <clears throat> Memory is actually a... Re Earth huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Memory is actually a retired YouTuber who uh, ended up working a, a awesome corporate job. But, you know, she does like some of her shows here and there and whatnot. I'll do my best to try and promote it if she'll let me. You wouldn't let me promote last time. What, yeah. What are you talking about? No? I have no problem. Well, I think I misread that anyway. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> we got to fight. How dare? How dare All right, anyway, you? let's go. <clears throat> How dare you? Oh, Christ. All right, all right, all right, all right. You guys are in for a treat. Okay, we're in the home stretch now. We've got, but. We, we are by far nowhere near fucking done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine fucking videos. Nine. And these are the hard hitters, okay? The hard hitters. If I have to, I might actually cut a couple of them out. If they're not as hard hitting as I think they're going to be. But they're all going to be. They're all going to be amazing. Brand Forever, thank you again for that, by the way. Um, <clears throat> Let's read these real quick. Um, do, 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 do. I think it's just Glasgow had got to sign off, but I hope you guys like the artwork. Work is a pain in the neck, but money's important. Love your style, Mems. Mems is the best, isn't she? She's incredible. I hope she decides to to come back and start doing some more uh some more YouTube. That'd be great. Yep. All right. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go. This video right here is about why negative things keep happening in your life that's right straight up straight up and so we, we this video was inspired uh through a conversation that i had with a friend of mine mm -hmm. and i said you know what let me make a video about this because i feel everybody needs to hear this sure spirits spirits are real okay i don't want to hear it okay are y'all children okay okay immature you want to believe what you want to believe but don't but don't want to know what is actually the truth so let's just talk about spirits, okay? I've done plenty of videos of spirits. I'm not backtracking, but I will say this. If you're walking on the street, you're a pedestrian. If you're in a car, you're a driver. 
Okay. If you floating around in a time space continuum without a body, you're Con a ghost, a spirit, a soul, fan. What the fuck is a continuum? What the fuck is a continuum? Did you just wait? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You're a driver. If you floating around in a time space continuum without a body. Continuum? Does this motherfucker not know how to say continuum? <laughs> Watch some motherfucking Star Trek, dude. What the fuck? You're a ghost, a spirit, a soul, phantom, whatever Damn. word. Damn. All right. If you're in a body, you're a human. Simple. Is that simple? So now why is okay. it important? You have spirits who have become so disconnected from the creator. How do you become psychologically disconnected from the creator? When you start to create according to that which is an illusion. That which is not really real, but you believe it's real, but it's only real because you're making it real. Let me give you an example. Wow. Green or blue never hurt anybody. If you don't <laughs> like green or you don't like blue, it's simply the way that you are projecting the stimula or why you gotta hate on green or blue they just colors you out here ranting and raving pointing your gun talking about how green and blue did you wrong they're just colors they're just colors this is a totally normal conversation that absolutely happened once to a man on a whole lot of dmt the phenomena, I mean, excuse me, the stimuli or the phenomena via your experience with these colors. These colors didn't say anything to you. My favorite color is green. Your favorite color is whatever. Doesn't matter because green, I'm not green's favorite color. I'm choosing green for my own personal reasons. So if I started to actually obsess with green and believe that green was better than every other color, then I would start down the path of a demon. How? Because I would go into my ego. Why? <laughs> Because I would believe that green has some superior power over every other thing when... If you have a favorite color, you're going down the path of a demon? What the fuck? Really, I'm giving it the power because I'm the one thinking about it. That oh, fuck. I forgot about that. That's right. That's right. Young Pharaoh was the one that black people is plants... Uh, because they run parallel with the DNA uh, energy flux with the earth, and so all black people are plants, does that make chlorophyll melanin? I don't know. I don't know. Look, I, I, asked, I asked my brother, who's black. Uh, he said he wasn't a plant. But, I mean, can you trust your family? Like, you know, really. Maybe he's just hiding his, his plant-like nature. God damn it. I swear to fucking Christ. Hired and focused on it when really it's not that serious. Because somebody else could come to the same conclusion about blue. And next thing you know, <laughs> green is better than blue. And blue is better than green. And the green people are going to war with the blue people. And now we're in chaos because we both become disconnected from the creator. Which is Who the fuck is the blue people? Also, I don't know if it was Earth Mother or Bethany. But uh, they printed out a, a beautiful picture of Bunty King in his underpants with a knife saying... Father, I require nuggies. This is the kind of content I really wish to produce and really is what drives me as a man. Our own minds. You are creating your own reactions accord based off your actions of thought. Sure. So with that being well, said, I don't know what that means. Why are negative things keep happening to your life? Your behavioral patterns, right? The way you grow up, whether it's your fault or not, are toxic most of the time. And then what happens is Kinda. Your behavior right. is what operates your frequency. So if you have, you know, discipline and aware behavior, then those type of spiritual beings will be attracted to you because they can sense your frequency. If you have sneaky, conniving, and devilish behavior, those type of beings will be attracted to you because they can sense your frequency. So your frequency can attract spirits. And so if you're a sneaky, snaky person, you attract the sneaky, snaky spirits. But if you're like uh, a, a 
uh, awesome dad bod sex kitten like myself, do you you attract the sex kitten spirits, right? Is that how it works? So what happens is the reason that is so much negative happening a friend. through your life is because your whole life you're channeling evil spirits. And then when you stop channeling them, the environment or the people around you are still behaving in manners which channel these spirits. Aren't you the guy that does like all these videos saying young Pharaoh destroys so-and-so, young Pharaoh annihilates so-and-so, young Pharaoh blah, blah, blah. Man, it's so fucking bullshit. It's so dumb. Like, the, the, even on the most barest self-reflection, which he does not do, uh, all of this would just kind of fail any type of scrutiny. Um, I... This whole video is incredible. Uh, I, I encourage you, if you love this video as much as I do, because I have... A, most of the time when I do the roundup, I don't watch the entirety of the video because I want to make sure the stuff that I'm surprised by, I watch this whole video. It's awesome. I highly encourage you to watch this video because it is absolutely batshit fucking crazy. It's so fun. But we got to move on. I hate to say it, but we got to move on. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So sorry. <clears throat> All right. Um, do 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 do. <laughs> uh, Macy Cottle says, "I feel like they got the idea of monks levitating rocks from Spyro too." Uh, why jai why yeah 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 yo why yeah 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 yo? I guess that's how you pronounce that. Uh, Charlie Harwood, hey Jeff, sorry I can't catch your roundup tonight. I hope it's been amazing. Much love to your family from mine. Thank you so much, and it has been. Bison Cast, thank you very much. Appreciate you. Very kind. Um, yeah, I love young Pharaoh. I love him. He's incredible. We're not going to spend a lot of time on this next video, but like, we got to just make sure that we're maintaining the top score, okay? So we got to do it. Yeah, let's go, Bob. Here's a big question. Is Bob going to put a Bible in a demon's asshole today? You are judge of Christ. Which first name? Brenda. Brenda. Oh, hi, Brenda. Brenda and her siblings were mentally and physically abused by their father. Her mother, herself a victim of childhood abuse and later mental illness, divorced and remarried. Their new stepfather was also abusive and at times would refuse to feed them. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Have you been married? I'm married now. Are you? First marriage? Yes. How are you doing? Not too good. <laughs> <laughs> I know a guy that asks questions like this. Okay. Stand up, Brenda. So you're repeating the pattern. Look, this is not marriage counseling 101 right now, okay? I knew that, but this that isn't it. We can't solve that right now. But so you're rejected again. Rejection, rejection, rejection. Wow. So Bob. In the name of Jesus. Wow. In the name of Jesus. I break the curse of rejection. I break the curse of rejection. Hey. Are you a Christian? Yes. That'll be six bucks. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can. You don't think you can do this? Why not? I don't, I don't know. I'm not ready for this. Now what? Oh, you want to go back with your demons. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is that what you want? Oh, he's putting her on blast. You got demons. You're in fa you are you're literally filled with demons. Who's sort of us? <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> How did you guys guess? I was reading the chat. I was reading the chat the whole time that this whole thing was playing, and I saw it in the chat. I saw you guys saying, I wonder if it's Jezebel. Hey, I bet it's Jezebel. Guys, do you think maybe it's Jezebel? How'd you guess? That's amazing. You guys must be so in tune with the psychic world that you could uh, you could immediately identify. You know what? That's the true power of the Wingnut Roundup right now. We are finally crafting ourselves into detectors of spirits we can we can right away that's jezebel ah man you guys are too smart you almost got away jezebel 
Are we going to get a Bible Almost got away, in an asshole? Are we going to get one? Is it is this going to happen this month? Brenda, get out of the way. Stop it. I'm going to issue orders like a sergeant now, because I'm going to get you free with God's help. It's going to get her free. Jezebel, I'm going to take the sword of the spirit and put it right through you. Oh, it's coming. I want to make sure I get your attention. He's going to go right up her butt. Understand God's in control. He's going to go right up her butt. You ready for this, Jezebel? You ready for this? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. He broke her in half. Jezebel. He broke her in half. Oh my god! I just broke that curse of rejection. And broke her fucking hip. Jesus Christ. Let it be known for all for all of time. Uh Bob Bob Larson is not a kind lover. He'll fucking snap your fucking hip. He'll be like, oh, oh, oh you, you, you think you can handle me. Well I'll <laughs> Okay. Alright. Anyway, uh <clears throat> from one performance artist to another. Let's go back to uh, Donnie Epstein. Uh, this here was a conference uh, that he did. Oh. <laughs> oh. So we're not going to watch this whole thing because, like, it's it's 13 minutes, and honestly, I don't give that much of a shit. It's the same thing for, like, 13 minutes, but we're just going to kind of click through it. Here we go. I'm going to add upper mental. Upper mental. Undiscovered transform. Now we could do this. Undiscovered trans thought. Okay. Yeah. Of course. There you go. This is about right. <laughs> All right. Let me get in your butt. Damn. And... Tap. And... Vagina. Is all Tickle the ribs. The grass is right from here. Uh, here. <laughs> Breathe, please. Yeah, please, don't sue me. Holy shit. All right. Let's find another. This like, this whole video is full of exactly just this 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 thing that he does. I don't know what he's doing. It's a this distance the body. He's got a pen. It's his it magic pen. It's like the level one response as it organizes the connective tissue, etc. Etc. It connects to the emotional intelligence. You get more of a stretch response, like you do, like level two A in network. With the emotional the one, response, you get the, the lower mental intelligence. We get the classical wave. The upper, we get a wave with a figure eight. We get the soul intelligence. We get this. I'm in the I'm in the wrong line of work, dude. We get to universal spirit. We get this. Get it going. Get it going. Get it going. Go, go. I want to see the flexor extension and the figure eight. It got it. Hands. Bio. Flexor extension. Lower mind. Pull more pause for perception. What? Number where it is. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's. That's that old man's puckery butthole. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, what do we got? Uh, you see, Femoid, Full Alchemist is the best anime, and you'd know that if you had culture. What the fuck is going... I don't know what's going on with my printer today. I don't understand. This is, like, totally hijacked at this point. No, 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 just a waste of paper. All right. <clears throat> now, up of my, just call up of my, call up, call up, call up, it's Discover. It's Discover. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Big change in the whole system now. Mm -hmm. Here we go. <sighs> Definitely in the wrong Definitely in the wrong uh, field. Jesus uh, Christ. There. Oh, yeah. What the fuck, dude? The connection top and bottom. Feel that connection. Look, I, all I'm going to say is as far as like yeah. weird pseudoscience cult shit goes, I think this dude is more successful than like Jared Leto. 
This is fucking nutty, man. Holy sh... sh wow. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to finish this video later on my own. <laughs> oh dear. What is this thing loading up? You got mail. Move your reference from Seattle friend. Oh, thank you. Cool, cool. Bison cast. Thank you very much for all the donos. Appreciate you. They're uh, they're just popping through. Creepy kitty. Uh, he teaches how to do a very slow worm. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's pretty good. All right. Uh, we're gonna move to. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Here. Uh, so. For those of you who love Hans Worm Hat videos, this is technically on Hans Worm Hat's channel. But however, this is not Hans Worm Hat. This is Heidi Worm Hat. Yes. So this one's a little more delicate. I am going to have to come up with a code word. Hmm. But it shouldn't be too on the nose. Let's call them the frog people. I don't necessarily mean French, okay? But you know, you know that meme, oh, they're turning the frogs gay. So let's just call them the frog people. So when I was in high school, there were a few of these extreme GSA kids. One of them actually had a fake suicide because this isn't talked about enough, but fake suicides on fake death. Uh, just so we're clear, when she says GSA people, she means Gay Straight Alliance. And yes, this video is going to piss you off. Deaths are a real thing. There are tells for what's fake and which deaths are real. Because usually people that kill themselves are over the age of 50. Usually they're elderly. And it's actually common for... I, I don't know what's going on, but w when there's a fake death, people that were close to the supposed death person, dead person, will not be sad. Like, the other people will, will be emotionally destroyed and crying. I, I know, because there was an event like this at a school I went to, where a lot of people were just crying, and... But the close friends of the alleged dead kid were, like, they're just kind of cracking up and saying, oh, dead kid's with us, and he's laughing right now, and... Um, I guess it's an identity change. I don't know. But yeah, when the immediate family and friends of the alleged dead person are not sad, it, it's a tell. However, there are cases when I wonder if a person faked their own death and... Uh, I don't know what this has to do with the frog people, but Heidi very much wants to talk about how it's very often and common, totally common and a totally normal and sane thing to say, uh, that often when people die from suicide... It was just fake. Their parents thought it was real. I don't know. I know one person who was emotionally destroyed because her quote-unquote son allegedly killed himself. She truly genuinely believed it. She cried every single day. She never smiled again. Her demeanor changed. She, she was always sad. Her eyes were always red. She, she would just break down sobbing. It's possible, though, that her son was not dead, but she was certain that he was. I don't know what is going on, but that's kind of a, a side thing, and I brought that up because a GSA kid at my high school had a fake suicide, and he changed his name, and I mean, he just up and killed himself for no reason as the story went. No suicidal tendencies, no making arrangements, no getting rid of his stuff and writing a will. Uh, unfortunately, though, when people are truly suicidal, they don't talk about it until maybe if they get better. Okay. <clears throat> So, Heidi uh, is following form with Hans in picking something random and being like, that's not real. Hans are my hat. Uh, monkeys aren't real. They're just little people in furry suits. Okay. Hans are my hat. Wombats aren't real. They're CGI. This one is, suicide isn't real. It's all fake. What the fuck, dude? It is so fucking crazy. I'm not going to play any more of it, but, like, I had to share it because, like, this is some really fucking weird stuff. Weird, weird, weird stuff. It, it's, it's like, because we, we get lulled into complacency a lot of times that some of these, these wing nuts that we watch are just, like, charming and silly and, and weird. But, like, there's some real dark fucking turns. People who say things like, slots aren't real... They're not just saying that to be cute. They're saying it because they think that there's a dangerous, fucked up, evil agenda 
behind trying to convince you that sloths are real. That like for them, it's not funny. For them, it's fucking evil. And it's crazy. It's so crazy trying to like really analyze this kind of stuff. Is this his sister? I don't know. It could be his sister, it could be his girlfriend. I don't know who the fuck Heidi Worm had is compared to, to Hans. But yeah, fucking weird, right? Crazy shit. I had to share it. When I when I realized exactly how fucking weirdo she can get, I, I definitely had to share it. Uh, Donnie Epstein anime technique perfected real life. Doctors hate him. He can turn any anime real and align your spirits through concho. I don't know if that shows very well. It's a man in deep, deep uh, process. Urge to destroy world rising. Yeah, I mean that 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 one will uh, that one will piss you off. Is it him changing his voice? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, no, I don't think so. So we've got four videos left. Uh, the second to last one is gonna fucking make you angry. It's gonna it's gonna drive you up the fucking wall. But all of them are for their own reasons completely bizarre. So I've got like some fucking heavy hitters here. Sebastian R. Goat says, hi from New York City. Just want to say that you and Miles are huge inspirations for me to continue studying chemistry in uni uh, when I was having serious doubts. That is amazing. And dude, get it. Honestly, chemistry is an incredible degree to get. Uh, in many ways, sometimes I'm kind of pissed that I didn't focus on chemistry like I should have. Um, and, and Miles Power is just one of the best human beings on, on the planet. Uh, Enchanted Wolf asks, but does he practice safe pen? Oh, I get it. Uh, <laughs> Creepy Kitty, 85% sure Heidi is just Hans using a pitch-shifted mic. I refuse to believe that two of these insane people have met and decided to date. Gross. It's possible. Uh, Bison Cass, thank you again. Appreciate you. Um, all right. <clears throat> so this guy's familiar. Uh, content warning. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to give content warnings for the rest of the roundup. Uh, this video deals with needles. As you can see, he's got needles in his face. The next video is going to have uh, urine. Uh, the third one uh, has some some troubling uh, uh, shit concerning uh, uh, psychopathy. And the fourth one is uh, just, a, just an idiot. But here you go. Content warnings. All right, let's go. This is one of my hypodermic needle treatments. When I feel it's though it's creeping back up and stage five pain is like cancer. It grows into the fibers of the fascia and muscles. And if you can see that, see the acupuncture needle won't do that. Only a hyper won't detect that. Only an, a, a hypodermic needle will. And so I try to break it up. And this hurts like three. Not bad. But when the pain hits, it's like a eight, nine, ten. It makes you go. It, yeah. And you have to stop what you're doing. Yeah. Because you can't just ignore it. So to explain what's going on with Steven Rodriguez. Cause I feel I, sorry I... for people who have TN. Um, Sorry, I thought I had paused it. To explain what's going on with Steven Rodriguez, um, it's not just that he's crazy, but that he has devised an idea. Aside from like his ideas uh, that COVID is the most natural like evolution thing in the world, uh, despite his ideas that the, the only way to beat uh, uh, any kind of disease is through the care of your mother, which is very specific, um, <clears throat> he has devised these needle treatments where he believes that cancer uh, is leaking through people's bodies and he has to saw at the fatty tissues inside uh, the face in this example, uh, the, the spine and other examples that he did to other people. And he does this by taking hypodermic needles and he shoves them in just into the fatty and muscle tissues and saw at it. He's not just sticking them in. He's using the tip to cut and to saw bits of the fascia 
inside faces, inside spines, inside like fatty tissues. That's what he's fucking doing. To as far as I know, he doesn't actually practice on other people anymore, or he's just not recording it. I don't know. Uh, I would have blown my head off. On any, you can see that I've been working on this so long. Is and eventually, once I get my license back and I can talk to doctors again, I might get a plastic surgeon to remove. Wait, what did he just say? Wait, 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 wait. What did he just say? Actually, once I get my license back and oh! I can talk to. Once he gets his license back, okay. I think we just got the the question answered. I think he got his license revoked, specifically for doing this kind of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy shit. Doctors again. I might get a plastic surgeon to remove the fascia and see what happens. The problem is it's still there because you can't remove it all. You think you can, but you can't on any account. He has some kind of mental illness that's causing him to do this. Like that's why as much of, of, of a lunatic as he is and as much as I kind of giggle, I also feel pretty bad for him because like this is absolutely mental illness. Something about him has decided that this is this that there is some kind of cancer in his face and he's got to saw it open. But here's the thing. I will I would I put this out there as kind of a challenge to you guys. If you if you have a strong constitution and you like watching wingnut uh, content, go to his channel, Steven with a PH, Rodriguez ends with an S and look at some of the videos of him treating other people. That's why I will feature him on the Wingnut Roundup, even though I think he's mentally ill. It's because this dude, this fucking idiot, has really hurt people. Because it's just, it's woven into everything. Yeah. Even down in my lower back. Okay. So all of this, all the way down. I can't believe this is happening. Meaning, I'm doing this it's, and it's helping. And it's other not. people it's can not. get it done. It's not. It yourself. It's not. You have to take control of your own life. Jesus fucking Christ. Doctors have lost. Look, I just wanted to say, like, uh, this looks like a man who has definitely taken control of his life, doesn't it? It's inspiring. It's an inspiring story. <sighs> no. No, no. 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 No, no, no. All right. Uh... Okay, Lemming says, man, fuck this broad. I've had multiple friends both attempt and succeed in the attempt over the years. She's got no damned idea what the crap she's talking about. Uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't want to get too into it either, but I have lost, I've, I've lost a number of people to suicide and whatnot. And that's another reason why I think Heidi Wormhead is uh, uh, a bitch. And fuck you, Heidi. Uh, Tanks777 dislocated my knee this week, had to go outside, and I live in Cleveland. Oh, sorry. And it's been <laughs> rough. The roundup has really cheered me up. Thank you. Nah, Cleveland's cool. Cleveland's all right. I'm just fucking around. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be a proper response to like I live in Cleveland without being like, oh. But Cleveland's great. <clears throat> I know I know something's about to pop up, so I'm gonna wait for it real quick before I switch to the next video. Um but the next video is gross. Hey, Aaron Nassi. Thanks, Doc Holiday, for helping make my awful day a little better. I am so happy that I can help in that regard, and I'm so happy you guys are here, and I'm so excited that we're doing the roundup. I'm I'm into it, man. Mm. I tell you what, there's some really cool shit on the horizon. Super, super cool shit on the horizon that we're uh, we're gonna start doing soon. Me trying to process the shit Jeff shows us and figure out how to go back to my normal life, thinking any random person I see on the street could believe this shit. With a picture of a Ken doll drinking some... It looks like Corona. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> it's time for Jan Shamanic. Yo, yo. What's up, all you beautiful people? You look like shit, Jan. The White Tiger is back. Straight from the surgery. Yeah. Straight from 
my deviated septum surgery. Sure. Which all went pretty far, actually. Why have I done it? I've done my nose operation because I had a deviated septum. You can see it, but it was so fucked up. The doctor told me it was like broken a few times because of martial arts. <laughs> and it all went perfectly. I mean, I don't know if you've seen that. Maybe I'm on glad, my Instagram, you, glad. if you like. I'm glad that Jan Shamanic's deviated septum surgery went well. I question why he's recording a video fresh from deviated septum uh, surgery. And I also question why he's wearing a late 1980s ski suit. Are you going to enter the competition to save the youth center? Do you, do you got to beat Chet at the downhill race? <laughs> Is that what you're doing, Tiger? <laughs> you can follow me over there. Ah, uh, at John Shamanic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You don't see it, but I'm smiling. Actually, I'm I'm pretty good. You know, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. Good. It's, We're glad. I, I mean, I look maybe a bit strange, but it's all cool. It's all cool. Good, buddy. So We're happy. this year, uh, video here. I'm is glad about he's good. Aged Shiva Mukulpa, aged urine. Now this year in here, I was aging that. Actually, I was having the intention to get into aged urine when I was. When I will get my nose done. So I was preparing that like three months ago now. Well, nearly, nearly three months ago. So, uh, well, two months ago. Uh, okay. But yeah, two months old urine. Uh, that's pretty powerful. You know, I was, I was, you know, if you know me, I'm also into Shiva Bukopa, but I'm uh, like for now, the last three days, I'm getting into age urine. It's freaking powerful, let me tell you that. So, the healing speeds up. Uh, your abilities speed up. Not to say I have abilities, but in these humble words, you know. Peace, yo. Cheers, you fuckers. <laughs> Oh no, no, oh no. And that's so, like, who? It's like, uh, it's like real alchemy, you know? No, Jan. It's pee. It's just pee. It's not alchemy, bro. It's just piss. I was actually putting H year to also in my ears. I'm not ah! putting it in the nose until it's like completely healed. Don't but don't do that either. Putting it on my skin. Don't do that either. Into the ears, drinking it. Yeah. Like, and this is how you develop with age urine, age urine. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I think I feel like I gotta point this out too. Uh, one of the things that makes Jen Shamanic so uh, fascinating. And so unique is that all these other people who did we run out of paper? We ran out of fucking paper. That's okay. You know what? The Earth Mother is said enough today. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, <clears throat> perhaps said too much. Uh, the, for all the 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 like pee drinkers and the urine therapy people. Uh, they'll do aged urine and then they'll just like rub it on their feet or drizzle it in their ears or wash, you know, their eyes out with it. But they don't fucking drink it. They don't drink their aged urine. Jan, Jan looks at that and he's like, you fucking pussy, I'm gonna do it. Well, I was feeling down on myself due to losing work because of the Rona that he just made. Me feel ten times better about myself. That's why Thanks we're here. Jeff and Mems for spending the evening with a cranky old broad. <laughs> That's why we're here. That's why we're here. That is one hundred percent why we're here. Um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna take a minute. And we're gonna process what uh, what's about to happen. Um, <clears throat> real quick, Soulstone says, "Notice me, Daddy Jeff." Ooh, 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 ooh. Love from Liz, Liz or Liz, uh, Stephen and Joe. Gonna send that whiskey soon. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Heather Moss says, "Props to Cleveland, birthplace of Superman, home sweet home." Nice man. Uh, I think I read, yeah, I read Aaron and Nazis, but thank you again so much. Appreciate that. Put the paper in upside down. I guess I could. 
do we really want to give Earth Mother any more attention? She's kind of lost her shit this 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 month, a little bit. <clears throat> we can, yeah, I guess we can. Oh, she, she can she can she can get a couple of more messages in, a couple more, but uh, she's gonna have to shape up a little bit. Bison Cast, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate you. Um, all right. So there's two videos left. Uh, this next one is going to be a bit upsetting. Um, I'm just putting it out there. This is really, really fucking weird. It's weird. It's gross. And I'm kind of only including it as a public service announcement. But because of how disturbing it is, uh, I wanted to put it near the end. So, uh, here we go. My name is Wendell Charles Neesmith. And no, I can't rotate And it. I am the luckiest man in the world. I have spent the last 10 years of my life searching for my soulmate. A philosophy obsessed girl who I could give my entire life to. Yeah. By giving my life, I literally mean spending all of my time writing love letters like this to her. I wrote five books to her. I made countless films for her. Okay, <clears throat> on first example, like uh, on first glance about this, like it just seems like a regular dude uh, who just is uh, awkward. Uh, he doesn't really know how to communicate with people very well, but it seems that in the horrible loneliness of life, he has managed to find somebody that he cares about. Oh, God. In 2015, I made this. All I wanted was a beautiful girl who I could do this sort of stuff with all the time. But I failed to find anyone like that in this world. Females aren't interested in philosophy at all. Um, so that's where I ended up alone. I know that- Look, I just, I really feel like I need to keep priming you guys. This is really fucking weird. This is really, 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 really disturbing. If you want to tap out, I get it. Just it is better to be alone than to be with the wrong person. The only problem is all the females in my environment are the wrong person. I learned that I had ah! to build her from childhood. No, no you don't, no you don't. But they don't take kindly to wisdom in this world. They make it illegal. Ah, God damn it. Oh God. No, no. I was sad the other day. Because I'm alone and there's no way I can find what I'm looking for in this world. Nice pantaloons, Daddy Jeff. Hello from COVID hell. Love to you and mams. I'm glad you like my pantaloons, my amazing patriotic uh, daddy shorts. Um, I had to switch over to the to the Sir Sick t-shirt. I got to represent Sir Sick at the end of this. Uh, <clears throat> No, 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 hey, look, 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 everybody, hey, listen, 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 this is important. Okay, everybody who's in the chat right now, and they're like, okay, this is really fucking gross, this is really, really fucking creepy, holy shit, how can this possibly get worse? It can! 
Hur- hooray! Hooray! Congratulations! You can! Wanted shitlord. Okay, that's good news. Let's go! So then God offered me someone's hand in marriage. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. No. She's dead. Uh, he believes uh, that God directed uh, somebody to run over a five-year-old girl and kill her so that he could, she could be his ghost bride. <clears throat> I, I have never found something this fucking depraved uh, of somebody that hasn't already gone to prison, that hasn't already been, like, arrested for something really, really, really fucking crazy, really fucking creepy, okay? Now... Here's the thing. The reason why we're watching this, and I know it gets worse, and yes, by the way, it gets worse. It gets way worse. The reason why I'm sharing this, by the way, is because, like, honestly, people need to know who this motherfucker is. This dude is crazy. He's, like, he makes these videos constantly, all the goddamn time, and some of these are really, really fucking creepy. I'm trying to... uh, I love fangirls. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Little spooky. Uh, Dear Kids, little creepy. And like, just even if we click on just one of the oh, child all stars, listen to this shit. Just listen to this. Your parents are such pussies, my children. They talk constantly about my death, yet not one of them can do it. That's all they know how to do is to talk. That's all they're capable of doing. They're not capable of actually, you know, taking good action. More food, the Earth Mother's communications, but oh no, what the heck and creepy heck. Loved you, because even if the roundup sometimes makes me uncomfortable, it is still the highlight of every month. I'm glad. I'm glad. Look, this motherfucker needs to be in a facility, all right? I'm just putting it out there right now. He needs to be in a fucking facility. That's all there is to it. I, that's it. That's it. That's the sum and total of what I wanted to get across on that shit. Jesus Christ. Wendell Charles Nesmith needs to fucking go that to- That shirt is totally bringing out <sighs> that bitch and dad bod. Jeff Sexy Britches Holiday. Is it? A little bit. A little bit. I kind of dig it. It's not bad. I- <laughs> Oh my god. Earth Mother keeps printing out pictures of Bunty topless. Still waiting on them nuggies, father. Okay, well, look. We'll get to that after the roundup. It's a, we're almost done. We're almost done. Uh, <clears throat> and what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> somebody, somebody photoshopped uh, Jen Shamanic onto uh, a snow skier picture. That's pretty good. I don't know if that was Earth Mother or Bethany, but I guess we'll have to figure that out. Um, yeah, dude, the, the the spooky guy, and honestly, doesn't need to really be uh, around anymore. I'd be very comfortable with him not being around anybody's children. Uh, so that's my little uh, <clears throat> public uh, public service announcement. Uh, Dorothy Ishida, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Say si shiotoma. I just finished a piece of fan art based on your last Instagram post. Now to finish the end of this live stream with my full attention on it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you came back and like you had to watch that goddamn video. I'm so sorry. But also, I really do like my latest Instagram uh, picture. Instagram, uh, Real Jeff Holiday. Woof. 
Um, nice pantaloons. Hello from COVID hell. Mm-hmm. Kali Montelius. Yo, I fell asleep. Why are we watching a sad child groomer? I just woke up, lol. It had to be done. I'm sorry. Uh, it's 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 up there in the annals of wing nuttery. So, like, it had to be done. Heather Moss, this guy's like an amalgamation of Onision and Elliot Roger. I was thinking that, too. I was totally thinking that as well. He's got real hardcore, like, Elliot Roger, Onision, but then also, like, kind of some sort of, like, serial killer mixed in, too. You know, some something, like, some real spicy. Uh, Aaron, again, thank you so much. Some B-Tart says, shout out to Deadwing Dork fans. Yes, Deadwing Dork, actually, uh, that's actually, thank you, I'm glad, because I forgot his fucking name, and I feel like such an asshole. Uh, Wendell Charles Nesmith is actually extensively covered so far by Deadwing Dork, who is a YouTuber, um, and he's done a lot more, like, legwork into it, so, there you go. If you want to, like, follow this saga a little bit further, I probably am not going to pick it up. I got other shit that I got to do. Uh, Heather Moss... Spoke too soon, he's way worse. Yeah, he is way worse. Kelly Montelius, was he issuing a fight challenge to parents? I'm confused and worries. The fuck is happening? And the potato painter says, I want more healing with hemlock. I do too. I do too. I really do too. All right, to finish off this roundup, and to maybe give us a breath of fresh air from that disgustingness, uh, <clears throat> here's Jillian. All right, so I want to document my journey. And yep. so finally, <clears throat> Damn. I got to a point where my body said, okay, that was too much J-juice. We didn't need as much as you thought you needed because I did slam this very easily. It was so easy to slam this. Did it you was slam insane. it? Just slam it so hard, okay? girl. And so. Just slam it um, so hard. <clears throat> towards the end of my last transmission, I felt like I was going to throw up, but I didn't. I'm gonna try, I was trying to keep it down so that way I would do the waterfalls. But it's interesting. I sat on the toilet for a minute, you know, <laughs> waiting to waterfall. Sure. And guess what? My body wanted to throw it, throw half of it up. Not all of it, just half of it. And, oh, my God. That's amazing. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. So, Jillian, you were sitting on the toilet after drinking your salty cabbage water, waiting to have violent, explosive ass diarrhea. As, as if there was diarrhea of something else. But waiting to have explosive diarrhea out of your ass when all of a sudden uh, your body said, actually, we need to barf. That's amazing. It was awesome. And what came out it's was awesome. just like these little, like I had any, I had nothing to eat this morning, okay? This was like my first thing to, to eat and drink. And so, um, okay. <laughs> so what came out this way was just a few... I don't want to take a picture of it, but it was just like a few like spidery looking things, like almost like there was like mucus with like. Wait, 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 Jillian, did you? Did you shit spiders? I I look, I I wouldn't really be that shocked to be honest with you. If Jillian came out with the video and she's like, actually, I am infested with spiders and I've just been shitting them out like crazy. Uh, then I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be shocked. I'd be like, yeah, that sounds about right. I, it was like, like old cobwebby, dark cobwebs. And I don't know what it was, but I know that when you guys start doing the jelly juice and let's say you do slam, um, a quart, like in the beginning, Come on and slam. you might throw up. And welcome and you might throw to the up violent worms. diarrhea. You might throw up things that the body was trying to get rid of, but it couldn't get passed through all of your colon and your small intestine. Sure. And so when you do the J-Juice, it energizes the body to release it at the nearest exit point. Right. Okay? I, my body could have taken all of it down through my colon and through my small and large intestine. Sure, sure, sure. I said, sure. you know what? You know, we don't need as much of the nutrition that you are offering us. We don't need as much of the electrolytes. We don't need as much as, as of all the different constituents of the J-Juice. So we're going to have you throw it up which I did. And then there's still some stuff that came through the intestine because I did do a little bit of waterfalls. Not a whole lot, but a tiny bit. Okay. I might continue to do some more, so I'm going to drink some water. But um, but listen to your body because your body will let you know when there's too much of anything in your body, mind, and spirit. When you enter And then when you find out, when your body tells you, look, Jillian here has a great, a great message. I, I support it. I absolutely support it. When your body has had enough, like say... 
eruptive projectile explosive fucking diarrhea. It'll let you know. And then you should probably stop doing whatever it is that's going to give you explosive projectile uh, wet fucking diarrhea. I I will co-sign on that. I agree. I agree with you. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully you don't get to the point where you're like waiting to have your explosive shitty diarrhea. And that you're like, oh, I think I might throw up instead. Maybe you should catch it before that. Like when you start having explosive diarrhea. Whatever. Energize your immune system. And you do get waterfalls, you do throw up, you do have all the different mucuses coming out, allow it to happen. That's the body's trying to self-regulate without you trying to dose yourself. When I see a child okay? predator. And so, um, and since I probably am the most tip-top shape in body, mind, and spirit, I didn't need all Are of you? that nutrition. Now, <laughs> someone that would just be starting J. Listen, I'm so nutritious and full of nutrition. I'm like the alpha dog of nutrition. Uh, that I, my body didn't even need it. It was like, nah, dog, that's too much nutrition. We ain't gonna make you shit your, your brains out. We'll make you throw up, dog. <sighs> Juice, drinking that much, they would probably absorb it and not have any feeling or they would feel like symptoms, but they wouldn't throw it up and they wouldn't have a waterfall right away. Some of you won't waterfall right away. Some of you won't throw up right away if, you know, if your body... But by damn, if you really, really, truly want to have explosive diarrhea, I believe in you and you should keep trying. ...body needed to. Um, some of you are going to absorb the nutrients, the, the electrolytes, the water, all of that because you're such at a deficit, okay? And some of you that do throw up is because the body's trying to get rid of things that couldn't go through the full elementary canal and so when you mm. energize your immune system and you have things in your upper digestive system the the throwing up is the easiest way to release it sugars in the background like bullshit bullshit shut the fuck up sugar's a good dog because you already have overabundance sugar it's okay sugar no nah, she's telling truth she's speaking truth okay, to power so i just want to give you i don't want to offer you don't that you shush that, fucking that was dog. the first time ever where i actually threw up probably half of it which means that my body doesn't need it uh -huh. as much as I thought. Okay. Well. And so, but what was amazing that it was so easy to drink. It was so easy for me to just take that whole quart, like as if it was nothing. Cause I believe me, I probably couldn't have done that before a couple weeks ago. Right. Like that. I don't know what that means. Maybe I could, I don't know, <laughs> but that was really too easy to drink, which means that's a good thing. It means my body is really primed. Okay. Is that what it means? So, um, or did you just make it so that is what it means? That was a really good experience. Now, yeah, having it come back up, I tasted it and it was warm. Ooh! Yeah, having it come back up a sec or having to taste it a second time. Yeah. I Please describe for us uh, the experience of your own vomit, Jillian. This is something that all of us need to know. Can you describe the texture? Uh, perhaps the heat. Uh, the Earth Mother is desperately trying to print things, and uh, yes, I know, I know that you can't print anything because there's no paper. I'm sorry. The Earth Mother has printed too much today. Maybe that's maybe the Earth Mother needs to calm the fuck down. Jesus Christ. Yes, dear. Oh my God. No, that's not right. Jesus fucking Christ. Hang on. There we go. <clears throat> Is that gonna work? Cool. All right, let's put some more paper in here and let's finish this video. I understand. All right, I'm gonna go do my thing, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up. All right, bye. Wow, that was it? That doesn't seem right. Fine, there. You know what? I don't even know why I'm putting paper in that. Like, that was the last video for the roundup, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> uh. All right, Jesus, Jesus, that was fucking rough, man. That was crazy. Look, that uh, what was his name? The the Wendell guy, man. That beat me up. That beat me up something rough. Um, let's see. Creepy kid, creepy kitty says Jilly was chasing waterfalls. Bad move. I agree. Uh, Bison Cast says you got a new Twitter. 
kind of. I'm going to make a, uh, a new official Twitter uh, starting this next month um, that I will invite everybody to follow me. You can find my trolley Twitter account that I'm doing now if you want to. If you put a little effort into, you'll find it. Um, but I'm, uh, I don't expect I'll be on there very long. I must, I'm a saucy boy on Twitter. I'm sorry. Drake Boy says, this is my first live stream. I've been working on some Hemlock Moonwolf fan art for you. Hope you guys are doing well. I hope that I can get... That was my main project for September, was to get a Hemlock Moonwolf video out, and the, the wildfires just demolished every effort that I wanted to do. Uh, Doodles in Wonderland, watching while I work on lesson plans for next week. Thanks for all you do. I appreciate you. And Kali Montelia says, is it just me? And my sleep-deprived brain that is hearing Jillian sneak dissing her followers, you're so deficient, you need all that juice. No, 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 you're not wrong. I noticed that as well, too. But if there's one consistent in the universe, it's that Jillian uh, always positions herself as, like, some sort of supreme uh, above uh, the people that follow her. This is actually very common. She's done this for years and years and years. Um, and it's, uh, it's kind of gross, actually, if you ask me. Um, so, <clears throat> I just want to say a couple of things, uh, before we say goodbye. Uh, I know 2020 has been rough on everybody. It's been rough on me, too. Um, we're, we're making our way through it, and, uh, we're, we're further through it than we are, uh, into it. So that's kind of nice. Uh, there's no, 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 no promise that things are going to be better in 2021. After all, these are just, uh, ultimately predetermined, uh, iterations of time. Um, the things though that do make the difference as they always have are the way in which we treat each other, the way in which we take care of ourselves, the way we take care of the people that we love, of our communities, our families, even if you really only got that one person, even if you only have that one person every so and so every so often embrace that kind of affection embrace that kind of connection embrace that kind of empathy and love for your fellow person and that's how we'll make it through because it's been rough and it's gonna it's gonna be rough on all of us uh but that's the way that we survive you know uh with uh with a little bit of patience actually a lot of patience uh as much compassion as we can spare and uh Hopefully a lot of laughs. And I hope, uh, in my own little way, I help to contribute that. Thank you so much for watching the Wingnut Roundup for September of 2020. Uh, we'll have a spooky uh, roundup next month. And uh, there are big things happening to this channel uh, starting in one week. <laughs> I love you guys very much. Uh, and I will see you again very soon. Uh, take care of yourselves and your family from mine to yours. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Ooh, yeah. So I feel like a DJ when I start putting this on. I'm like, what? What? Let's go. Yeah. That's the end. We out of here. Bye-bye.